Hey, Happy birthday. Happy birthday, it's your birthday. It's, your birthday. it's been so long since the first it's day. Happy B day, it's not me it's day. Your it's your day, that's what we say. Hey. hey, happy birthday. Hey, hey. happy birthday. Hey. Uh. Hey. Hey. hey, hey, it's your day. Birthday. Today is your birthday. Why don't we all get together and celebrate? You are one year older and one year wiser wow. the day's the day your age goes higher and you're still looking good with your nice smile wearing nice clothes look at you with your nice style every time you walk by people are like wow they want to look good as you so they're like how it's your birthday that's what everybody else it's your birthday you need to cherish it well do everything you want but try not to end up in jail because it's your birthday everybody knows now Let's all go wild. This is the day that you grow. Just another year old. Let's all come together, get a party to throw. You hear them clapping for you? Yep. Not for the song. No. So no. if you know the words by now, you should all sing along. Everybody, happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. It's been so happy long birthday. from the first day. Hey. Happy beat day. Happy it's not me day. Hey. It's your happy day. Birthday. That's what we say. Hey. 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 Happy birthday. Hey. 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 Happy birthday. Hey. 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 It's your day. Hey. 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 Happy uh, birthday. This happy is for birthday. everybody out there with a happy birthday. birthday. I know everybody birthday. has one. Happy birthday. This happy is birthday. for you. Happy birthday. Hey, hey. It's your day. Wait a minute. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Hi everybody, happy birthday Chantal and happy birthday to Cree. I know it's Cree's birthday today. Is, oh yes, today, yesterday, the 28th basically. Happy birthday Cree, happy birthday to you. I hope you had a beautiful day despite the fact that you're born on the same day as Chantal. I like to think that perhaps she was born on the same day as you. It's your day, she just tagged along. How about that? Yeah, I know I was, I was looking for something this afternoon and I just came across that. And since Chantal has started her new fledgling rap career, I thought, perfect, absolutely perfect. Maybe she could take a little bit of inspiration from that, you know, the beat. She could learn how to get on beat and sometimes a pause can lead you to finish the line on, on the count. Beautiful. But anyway, how is everybody going? How is everybody? We have Lockdog, we have D Rob, hello, we have Bev Darling, Enola. I'd like everyone to say thank you to the wonderful Enola for doing the artwork for the thumbnail. She did the Sugarfoot Kate painting for me yesterday. I made the request and she whipped it up and beautiful. Just, I gave her two words gangrene and glitter, and she just went nuts and she came up with the perfect idea. Fantastic. Say thank you, Anola. Um, we've got Gal Charlotte. I know Gal Charlotte was having some fun with her little pups this afternoon. What a beautiful little doggy you have, Gal. Oh, my God. So cute. I'm so jealous. I want a dog so bad. We've got Polly. We've got Charlie's mum. We've got Dohickey. We've got Bev Darling. Jade was in here, but she only had to pop in quickly. I don't know if you're still here, but hi, Jade. Panda Pondu. We'll be using a video from Panda today as well. Um, yeah, so I've got a plan for today and you guys are going to help me out with it. Okay. Glamasaurus Rex. Hello. Um, okay. So what's the plan for today? Okay. So we are going to watch part of her birthday stream from yesterday. Not all of it on yesterday from last year. Okay. When she came on stream for her birthday, she's not doing it this year for some reason. I don't know. Is she locked out? Is she in a timeout? Has she been sent to the naughty corner? Okay. Is she and Sala fighting? Is she on her way back to Canada? Who knows? I haven't checked her channel for anything. I mean, she doesn't normally upload at this time of night. But I'll just do a quick swifty check now in case we're missing anything exciting, which I doubt. The name's changed. We're back to Foodie the Beauty, which is still ironic. I know. Um, no. No. No lives, no nothing, anything ragey on the community tab. No, nah, no, nah, latest thing, she's deleted everything. The last community tab is the rap career post. So 
nothing up to date. Okay, so we're going to watch some of the the birthday party that they had in their um flat, the old flat last year, and then we're going to do presents. We're going to do the presents video where I've put everybody's ideas together, and she's going to get a big fortieth birthday present from me at the very end. It's like a slideshow, but I've put everything together in pictures so we can visualize, visualize because I'm a visual person. And then we're going to, um, what one is that? Well, we've got the entertainment section. Yes. Now, I will pre-warn you. Oh, I won't get sidetracked. And then we're going to play a fun game, okay, an adult-only game. And then it's viewer's choice. We're going to do a retro react, an old retro react, pre-Sala retro react. And you guys are going to choose which one you want to watch or if we're going to watch a couple. You decide when we stop, Okay. I have nothing to do. I don't have to work tomorrow. Hubby settled in, cat's fed. We're all good to go. We can be in for the long haul. Depends on how long my tailbone holds up. Okay. So, oh, why was I getting sidetracked? Oh, yes. Not trigger warning, but adult warning. Um, there will be some adult content in here now. Is it going to be anything grotesque? Not by my opinion. Is it revealing and audacious? Absolutely not. Is it on the adult side of things? Yes. If you are not into seeing muscular men dancing, step away. I will give you fair warning. If you don't like to talk about perhaps adult, I don't know, preferences, not in a grotesque way, in a very classy way, it's a YouTube video. So if YouTube says they can use it, it is for educational and fun purposes only. And there will be some fun content in there too regarding kinks. Um, and that's about it. Everything else is pretty standard. But if you are triggered or you're uncomfortable with that kind of content, I will let you know well in advance so you can step away and then rejoin when we get back to the retro. Okay? All right. Okay. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. I don't want anyone being uncomfortable. Now, I was going to do flashy lights tonight for decorations, but then I thought, God, what if somebody gets like seizures or something? So I didn't want to do that, but that was my party vibe, okay? And the theme, every party needs a theme. Gangrene and glitter, that is the theme. Foodie loves a bit of glitter on her eyes. She's also got the gangrene leg. I thought, let's put two of her, her, two of her things together, things that are essentially foodie, glitter and gangrene. Perfect. Infection, C. diff. It's all about that. Now, I bet you're wondering, Cookie, you're looking a bit different tonight. And yes, I am. I'm a bit dressed up. I've got my, my, my diamonds on, got the hoops, and I've done my makeup. I'll take my eye, my eye, eye, eye things off, my glasses off. Now, I think we'll all recognize this look. Our, our Glamour Puss foodie did something similar the other day now as an ode to foodie for a birthday. I replicated the look. I don't have navy blue eyeshadow because I'm a girl with hazel eyes. Does not look good on me. I don't have the right skin tone. I do not have the right eye color. I did the best with what I've got. I took this from one of my palettes. I've done a turquoise to match my hair, of course, because we're matching, matching, and that's part of the look. We've got the white shadow. We've got too much. We've got too much, but I thought... If Foodie saw this, she might see how insane this kind of makeup looks. You know, it looks nuts. It does not look nice. But I did my best. Now, I did make a mistake, guys. I did. By habit, I used a brush to apply. Now, I realized I needed a dirty finger and I probably needed to lick that finger to wipe the old makeup off from the day before. But unfortunately, I had a clean face. So if the application looks a little bit nicer than Foodie's, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. My bad. I used tools to apply mine and a clean palette to start with. But I did what I could for the party vibe. What do you think? Do you like? And for a little cookie touch, I am wearing the Dior. Yes, the Dior plumper that I got for my birthday from my friend because I've got some. Yes, my best friend who gave that to me. Yes, I get, I get, this is for my birthday. This is what my best friend got me for my birthday. Jelly, are you jelly foodie of the friend and the lipstick and the plumper, I should say. Now, I'm going to read the chat and see what you guys think. I've got to put my eyeballs back on. Okay, so what are we up to? Hi, Mary M. Suzanne. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we can do better than that. It's a party after all. You know, we've got to get to at least 40 likes. 
because it's her 40th birthday, okay? Okay. I'd say, no, hi, hello, uh, good morning, Lucy J. Yes, yes, we won't tell. Don't tell Lucy's boss, okay? That they what he what they won't know. They won't know. Um good Friday and good Friday, everybody. Good Friday. A YouTube lockdown because if she could have rage, she would have after Snowflake dropped part two. I think that perhaps she's Sal has pulled the router or she is in YouTube jail because there's no way or she's traveling. They're the only three alternatives. Only three. And she would be back in Canada by now and she would have cranked up a live stream already. There's there's I think she's in YouTube jail and she's gotta be here fuming fuming I, I was going to watch muscular men dancing anyway perfect i've actually got one two three five of them five of them and they are lovely i mean they're not like you know they're they're nice looking but they're not really my style but we know foodie loves a good muscular man we remember the big turk the big bodybuilder the 21 year old turkish man that she was gonna pay for services She's happy. He's happy. She she gives him money and he'll make her happy. Remember, that was the arrangement. That was the arrangement. Got, I put party nails on too. Put some lovely lavender and nude ones on. These are hella long and I'm probably going to lose an eye, but just for today, I thought I'd keep them long just for the party. Yeah. Okay. You, I am the party. Oh, don't say that. That makes me feel pressured. I feel burdened by that, but no. Somebody told me something really sweet. They gave, it was a compliment their child gave them and they gave me the same compliment because they felt the weight of it. They were like, oh, what was it? Um, they was like, you are always so fun. And the, their child turned around and said, no, you are the fun. And I'm like, that is such a beautiful thing for a child to say to a parent. And then they gave me that same compliment because that's how they feel. And I was like, that's so nice. Now, I realize not everybody find, thinks I'm fun. I'm, there are people that watch it as a click in and then click straight out because she's like, she's freaking boring. I'm a certain brand of fun. I understand that. I'm not everybody's tea, but I'm my tea and I do what I want and I have fun doing this. So, so there, all right? You're not the boss of me. All right, mob wife sheep. Yes, it is. It is like, I don't talk about Tony like that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, that's my best, um, um, what's her name? Nicki Minaj. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. It's not very good, but that's, that's what I think every time. Oh, yes, and thank you, Mods, for being here. I've got one, I've got Nano, I've got Panda. I know, and it is all about the over-exaggerated matching. Um, so everyone's down with a little bit of adult content. I will warn you. So if you're just coming in, just I will let everyone know. Mary, Susie Q, hi. YouTube jail, I think so. She would have been back by now, back, unless the leg's fallen off. Um. Yeah, my oh, my son used to just finds me incredibly embarrassing. Um, we went to his high school graduation, and I was so psyched about it. Year twelve made it all the way through year school, great attendance, all that stuff. Because he's you know got special needs. It was just getting to school, finishing school, and doing you know doing his courses and just finishing. We didn't care about the academic score. It was more about the life experience of going through school and having a good school experience. That that was our highest expectation. And when we had the graduation um, day, we came because his dad and I have been we co-parented until he was eighteen, and then we just didn't really talk to each other anymore because well, whatever. Um, we were both there and he, my son just looked me dead in the eye and he's like, don't you do it. I'm like, what? I didn't do anything. He's like, do not yell out. Do not scream. Do not whoop. Do not hell yeah. Do not do any of that. Do not embarrass me today. And I'm like, oh, of course I won't. But I bawled my eyes out and I did yell because screw him. I birthed him and I was super proud and that's what parents do. So, yeah, he finds me incredibly embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, good morning from Germany. I have been saying that the Muslim community kicked to the curb after they helped her reach her. And notice her numbers have not climbed. She's still literally sitting at 101. That steep acceleration and then just flatlined. Oh, it's not sus at all. Hell, I'm not sus. Simply me, hello. 
Um, okay. And um, oh, hello from Amsterdam. Um, hello, hal, hello. Isn't that how you say hello? It's like H A W L O. Hello. I don't have. I have a terrible accent. Oh, hi, Antonis. Now, just wanted to let you know the buddy is still fine. I fed him again. He's totally fine. He had a moment and he's just reset. He's totally the same cat that I had yesterday. Now, he's beautiful. He's probably going to go lie down on the bed and have a sleep. He's full. He's clean. He's happy. He's got a bed to himself. He's good to go. But I freaked out so hard. But he's good. He's A1. Okay. All right. So how about we just get started or we'll be here forever because I could talk underwater. Okay, so present stream. And remember, what's the code word if you can't see the footage and I'm chatting away? It is oi dickhead. Everybody throws oi dickhead up in the chat and I will notice that there is that. Will, I will notice that and that will make me go, oh, I'm not showing what we're supposed to be talking about. Fantastic. Now, has everybody got party drinks? Party drink, Pepsi and something special? I'm not going to mention what that something special is because people go, ooh, when I tell them what something is and I don't want anybody to be ooed. Special drink number two. It, they're very light. It's not like I'm going to get hammered or anything, but they're fun drinks. Fun drinks because it's a party, because it's a party. All right. And um, I'm not going to play any of the music on the party playlist. It is simply there for everyone's enjoyment. Go have a look at it. It's on my channel. Um, there are some bangers. I was actually listening it to it today. I even managed to sneak a few K-pop songs in there. They were recommended by somebody else, so it wasn't even me being sneaky that time. It was somebody else, okay? And I put in a random one in there that you guys probably won't get, but it's a song by a K-pop group called 2NE1, T-2-N-E-1, and it's called Che Chalaga, and it means I am the best, and it is an absolute bop and an anthem. Everybody sings it. It goes, Nega Che Chalaga, and it's totally 90s and totally, like, naff, but it's a bop. Okay. Oh, Carlotta. Hello. Ed Earl said, this is for some catnip. And for, oh, you know what? This is my cat. My cat is razor. He's, what is it? Straight edge. I've tried catnip. He's not the least bit interested. Not in the least. But what I will do, I'll take that $5 and I'll go and buy him some of the little mushy, um, licky treats that he likes. And he likes toys that like, those fishing toys where they've got a little animal on them with feathers and stuff. I'll get him some of those. I'll get him two little toys. But catnip couldn't be bothered. Just so not bothered. Doesn't like it. But thank you for the gift. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Buddy appreciates that. Okay. All right. So we're going to watch the birthday stream from last year. And yes, we are going to listen to Starla singing because it's Foodie's birthday and she deserves to hear it, even if we don't. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, the dynamic of these two. Now, let me just let me know if it's too loud, okay? Oh, look how different. Look at these two youngsters. They're in the first few months of marriage. It's the honeymoon period. I mean, let's think about the honeymoon period. So this is March. They got married in November. So November, December, January, February, March. God, they'd be still banging like two or three times a day. In an average, regular like romantic relationship, they just could would not be able to keep their hands off each other. Now, I may be remembering incorrectly, but I think the tension between these two was sizzling at this time. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? But I think we'll find out once we start watching. Oh, look at it. It's sizzling. Sizzling. Hello, guys. <laughs> oh, thanks, Zuliga. I forgot. It was. I'm like, I knew my birthday was soon. Say hey to your to your baby dog for me too. Give him lots of kisses. Give her lots of kisses. She's so freaking cute. If you've not seen Gal Charlotte's little dog, oh my god, you just want to put her in your pocket and take her with. Now, Foodie was pretending she's forgotten it's her birthday today. Okay, radio narcissist. A narcissist never forgets their birthday. And I keep saying I got this for my birthday. Got this for my birthday, but I didn't realize that my birthday was like now. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's my birthday. So, um, yeah, Salah suggested playing um, a song, happy birthday song for me. I think it's going to play. We are ready for celebrate. And then I'm. Not only does he look like a man from the 1980s, like from that Superman movie, his piano looks like it's from 1982 as well. It looks like it's the prototype for the Casios. Gonna have and yes, she's wearing the alien beanie. The alien beanie. 
so who? Oh, that oh, nightmare ghost one. face gamer. Hey, welcome, welcome. The very important piece is ready to take bees. Hello, Crispy. Hey, Gemini. Oh, this is before it oh, all went hey, down. Oh, let's class. Feed her up. Happy Weed baby boys. Thank you, San. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Thank you all. Aries mm -hmm. gang, yeah. I know. Gang, gang, it's piano time. Yeah, he's just going to play Happy Birthday, then we're going to eat so cool. Uh, You know, <laughs> it's already three. Okay, baby, you want to hit it? He's going to do Arabic style. Hi, baby mama. Thank oh, you. Oh, it's going to be Arabic Love style. Goddess. Hello. Georgia, thank you guys for the birthday wishes. She's, she's do you know how old I am today? 29. Hi, Dream. 29. 29, yeah. <laughs> Your age. <laughs> I wish. <clears throat> Hi, Mimi. Hi. Hi, Satan. Hello. <laughs> well, <laughs> Sabre, I thought it was the 28th. My bad. Happy birthday. It is the Okay, so it's not the 20th for you guys. Hi, Trixie. Um, I got my birthday of on. Yeah. It's, oh uh, my it's goodness. actually the 20th. Here. So this white eyeshadow is probably the same one from her palette where she's wearing the blue, the navy blue. Now, I hate that. I hate the way she does this. I actually hate this makeup, but I thought, you know, full foodie. Why doesn't she do a cut crease? She's got hell, she's got very, very, very heavy hooded eyelids. A cut crease would open her eyes up so much. And she loves a big fake eye, doesn't she? She wants her eyes to literally look like one of those, what do we call those in Australia? You know, these little big, humongous little baby night creatures. What are they called? Tohiki. Tohiki, you'd know. I can't remember what those things are called. Bush babies, they're massive. They've got these massive eyes. She loves that look. Bug eyed. But she wears this makeup that makes you. Why? You wouldn't need to filter so much if you just did the makeup right. Do a cut crease. Foodie, do a cut crease. It's 3 a.m. on the 28th. A crazy frog 10 hour loop. Yeah, uh, I think in our time. Oh, context. This is from last year. When she was happy and not as depressed, she didn't have a full year of, like, ick, you know, Thailand, ick, the um, Kai Bella scandal, ick, the other Red Room. Oh, no, the Red Room thing had happened because this is after she'd come back from Canada. So the Red Room had happened. Um, what else? A whole bunch of other ick stuff. This was when they were young and fresh and in love. And... Um, I would suspect after four months, it's boning like crazy. Now it's uh, 20, uh, 20. Yes, yeah. 20. <laughs> and your time, guys, it's still 27. Yes. Hi, Lyndon. Dear yes, yeah, exactly. It's still 27. We can't. But for oh. us, yeah. Um, and let's say thank you to Panda Pondu because this is from her, her ch their channel. No, not her. Their channel. I'm going to, it's a book. You're a boy, aren't you? Yes. You, I remember you told me that. Um, Thank you for allowing me to use your video because you sent me the thing and I'm like, cool, let's watch it there. Because I was going to watch a cut down version, but I thought, nah, let's watch the raw, let's watch it. So we have some some treats for Suhoor and uh, because I'm going to the gym tomorrow and, you know. Mm. Uh, you know, guys, Suhoor is the meal before uh, starting fasting. Yeah, yes. So we have to hurry and cram it in. <laughs> New me member for a little. This, this is when Salah still had hope. You can see the hope in his eyes. Loyalty Beezer, 11 months. Happy birthday, beautiful. I hope you have a wonderful day. My birthday is April 1st. No way. No. Yeah, we get more than like. Thank you, Noomi. Ready, set, read bees. Thank you for always being a Beezer. And um, Golden Girl, hi. Thank you, LD's wig. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Happy birthday, Queen Beezer. Thank you. Oh, hi, Jim, on my birthday, Hello. you want to know the meaning of that? I was saying... <clears throat> I don't even, oh, did he sing for her? I don't reckon they're in a singing kind of relationship anymore. I think he's like, walks through the door, drops the Burger King on the bench and just goes, have have at it, Humpty, and goes into his room to jerk off. That's, that's I think that's their relationship. Uh, you know. And he cries himself myself, to sleep at night. I what know, did I do? The biggest gift I can give myself is health journey. So, um, hi, Rhonda. Thank you. Yeah, so I figure, you know, oh, your dinner arrived, we're all going to eat together. I figure the biggest gift I can give myself is doing, trying to do better on my birthday. Why not? Although, are we going out for dinner tomorrow? I don't remember. Inshallah. We'll see what we're doing. I don't know. You will see. I want to eat healthy, though. <laughs> that lasts for a long time. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> what's on the back of your hijab? Okay, so this is actually... <laughs> she looks like a I'm kind of lazy, guys. I, um... Golden girl, she's hi. so ready. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, oh. This is my, um, you remember? She's red for a couple of reasons. Oh, that's a good pause. Oh, God, he looks like an unwashed homeless person. It's because, and you know what? That's not fair to say 
that's not, I'm not saying that about men with beards in general, because some men have beards and they take care of their beards. He doesn't even look like he runs the brush through it, washes it, oils it, nothing, gets it trimmed. He just looks like he's a guy that wakes up and just goes like this and just goes about his day. Like, Bleh. I bet he's as filthy as she is. She, this is, this is the alien beanie or the sperm beanie but she's super red. Is it because she's still like giggly and giddy and uncomfortable around him? Like she's sitting next to a boy. He likes me. You know, that bashful. She looks like she's flushed. It's just weird. Look at these hats I used to wear. Well, this is like an, I have my kids. Oh, she used to wear beanies like that. But yeah. I have this on top. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah. So last cooking me dinner. <laughs> Mimi, member for three months. Pappy Pickles is the biggest gift you can get. <laughs> Your Pappy Pickles. Oh, sorry. Guys, what do you think of this? Like, this is his color. Isn't it not? This, like, hunter mm. green. I love this color on him. I love this style. It's not hunter green. <laughs> I love Pappy Pickles. Actually, speaking of which, guess- Is that what you guys would call hunter green? Because from what I know, that is not hunter green. Hunter green is more of a dark, foresty green. Like, that is what we would, uh, would be considered khaki or olive. Um, and when you say khaki in America and we say khaki in Australia, they're two different things. Khaki is beige for me and that is army green, olive green or khaki. Beige is not the same as khaki. It's different. Or khakis. That's what we have. Okay, babe. I want to hear my okay. This is Arabic style. Happy birthday. Oh, yes. Guys, you ready? Ready. Oh, are you ready, guys? Let's wait for them. Let's put our seatbelts on. So we're going to sing and play at the same time. The man's a musical genius. I think this was the first time we'd actually heard his musical stylings. Are you ready? Let's go. From Mona Blue, hello. Pickle yes. colour for Pappy Pickles. <laughs> it is. You're right, Enola. Enola will know because she's an Thank artist. You. Thank you, Golden Girl. That means a lot. I'll call the army green. Yeah. The shirt is matching my eyes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Stormbird. Hunter is dark green. <laughs> it's a I like the style. I'm a trendsetter. Oh no, you're not. You're a you're a trend abolisher. You're not an inf- you're an anti influencer. That's what you are. Despite what my makeup says, um, I know what Hunter Green is because if I had had a child and I'd had a little girl, I would have done her room white, black, and Hunter Green because I don't I don't I like purples and pinks, but I didn't want to have my daughter's room done up in those colors. I wanted to have all different colors, but I really liked. I wanted to have a black cot full white linens, a green feature wall, and then black furniture. I know that's not very little girly, but that's what I wanted to have. That was just my vision. Hunter green, white, and black. Peter Steele green. Oh, yes, Sabre. Yeah. Okay, we're all ready, right, guys? Yeah, we are I so ready. ready. Let's get nice let's get it rolling. Thank you. Yes, I love it. Cool. Let's well, go. Green, this is your color, I think. Okay. okay. He's so – oh, he's gin chested. From five, yellow. Oh, five, four, three, yellow. <laughs> yellow. Just play, thank dude. Thank you, Cannon. Thank you. All right, let's count oh down. Hi, Glen Gal. Yes, it looks really nice. Uh huh. Let's yep. go. We are ready. Yep. Let's jam. <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> Come on, guys. Four. four <laughs> three. Two. One. Five. All right, let's go. Yes, she influenced us to be better. Put you bust out your best belly dancing move, guys. If you got some. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Ew. Ah, she thought she was gonna get a kiss. My stomach just clenched. My stomach just clenched because I thought he was gonna lean in and kiss her, and my throat just went a little bit. Oh, yuck. She doesn't brush. But he could have kissed her right then because they're not in public. They're on YouTube. They're at Reels. Look how red she is. Three, four, three, yellow. Okay. <laughs> yellow. Oh, Confetti cannon. Thank, thank you. All right, let's come so down. Hi, Glendale. Yes, it looks really nice. Oh, it's hunting. Let's go. Cute. We're ready. Let's jam. She's an animal. Five. 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 <laughs> come on, guys. Four. four three. Two, two, one. Five. All right, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Oh. 
Oh, look, she's looking at his mouth. He's looking at her forehead. She thought she was getting a kiss. Oh, this is, this is like high-fiving like this. Like She's like self-high-five. Oh, she gets... I don't want to cry because honestly, you're like the biggest birthday gift ever. A grown woman of 39 covering... Oh, when she was literally hooking up with a 21 year old to pay him for sex, to keep her happy. And she's blushing from a forehead kiss. Okay. Oh, you would think she's a 40 year old virgin at this point. Thank you, baby. That's so nice. Oh my gosh. Seven, baby. Thank you. I love you. When men do the bare <laughs> minimum. <sighs> Sorry, that's, yeah, you're weak. <laughs> you wish. Hello, Diego. Ramona. Look at her teeth. Best moment of the life. That was so <laughs> sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so handsome. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you feel shy, baby. <laughs> oh, it's, I don't know. Blushing red. That's so fucking embarrassing. He is sitting there noticing she is sweating far too much. So he pulls out the scratchiest tissues they own. They're probably really cheap ones. And starts dabbing, dabbing her face. I'd be mortified. <laughs> mortified. Oh, but the tension, sexual tension. Don't think she's awkward and he's disinterested. This is what sexual tension looks like, guys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nobody's ever sung, saying to me like that. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. There's not much open right now. I'm gushing, you know. So sweet. <laughs> Thank you, man. That's legit like bare minimum stuff there. And she's, look at how red she's gone. Her chin's even gone red from it. God, she never, ever been fawned over by a guy. Has no one ever adored her? I feel like she's never been adored. I think BB was in love with her, but I don't think he was probably an overly affectionate guy. She was craving that. We know James wasn't doing shit. He just carried the stuff. Nada was just Nada. And for her, this is the biggest level of, like, interest and, like, attention, like, good attention that she's ever gotten. And she's like, oh, I'm being treated like a princess. It's like, sweetheart, that is, like, so bare minimum. It's, like, not even funny. Like, that's embarrassing. That's something I would expect a 14-year-old boy that I was going out with to do for me. Not a 40-year-old man. Now, girls and guys, if you have a musician in your family and they sit down and they play the guitar and sing songs and write songs for you, beautiful, lovely, they probably have some talent. They're probably good at it. They're not playing a 1982 Casio doesn't with no talent whatsoever with one hand. Like it's different when someone is doing something beautiful like that. But Jesus, if, oh, God. I'd walk out. If somebody did that to me on a date, I'd leave. I'd be like, great. Okay, I just need to go to the bathroom. I'm just going to go grab my bag because um, I'm on my period. Um, i just got to go change my sanitary pad. I'll be right back. I'm going to go and get my stuff and then I'll be out the door because, nah, brah. I'd be thinking he's hiding a body under the bed or something. Thank you, Rhonda. Salah, we love you all. Thank you. Yes, thank He's you, guys. The most yeah, I know. At a restaurant, it's kind of embarrassing, eh? A plastic oh, spoon. Yeah. Stand. The spoon. I don't think there's such thing, is there? Okay, look at this. It's a bamboo spoon. And another reason we're soulmates is we both like the same kind of olives. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Typical man. You love these olives, babe? These are Turkish olives. What are the chances of booty finding a man in the Middle East who likes an olive? <laughs> what are the odds of that? They're soulmates, though. They're soulmates, bro, because nobody, nobody else likes olives. No one in the Middle East eats an olive. Olives. Yeah, Turkish olives. Nice. Oh, I like the Diego. New Zealand olives. Loyalty bees are 10 mines. Ready, set, read these, Diego. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> what a man, what a mighty fine man. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's so gross. Yeah, LD, no problem. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Oh. Because, um. Does she mean like soulmates, like the fish? She smells like fish. He eats fish. Soulmates. 
So we have a vegetable pizza, small, we're going to share. Uh, uh, she's being healthy. She got the veggie pizza. Isn't that one of the lies we tell ourselves when we're trying to be healthy? We're going to have the vegetarian pizza because the dough doesn't count. The oil doesn't count. The cheese on top doesn't count. None of that counts. It's totally healthy when it's veggies on the dough with all the cheese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tear drip. I don't think so. Oh, really, Nanny? Half Turkish? I didn't know that. I don't know much about some of you guys, I guess, room? but I'd love to. Pepperoni? Why? Why do I need to go to the bathroom? What's going on? What's wrong? Go to the bathroom. Oh, go to I'll oh, go to the bathroom. Yeah. Well, I have to get something out of my bag because I need to go to the bathroom. And you tell them you've got your period because it's definitely puts sex off the cards. And hopefully they will be like, oh, well, we've got to wrap things up. Out you go. We're not getting in. I'm not getting anything tonight. Okay. Or you've just graced him out. And I requested this as a side. Let's start with some of this. You chosen this one? Yeah. Okay. The vegetable Happy one. Happy birthday, blobby chin. Yeah. This is my favorite fat tire ever. Oh, it's yes. the falafel. Oh. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Yes, a buyer. Stormbird. Stormbird, are you not up with the kids? The kids say Riz. It's Riz. She's got the Riz of a donut of cardboard she's got the riz of the smegma between natter's toes she has no riz she is rizless she is not of the rizzles yep rizzle rosoles she does not have the riz it's a body yeah <laughs> oh, she's, she's, she's embarrassing okay it's a party. all right we've watched we've watched the best part of this stream i think the rest of it's just them eating slopping and chomping do we want to get to presents do we want to open presents let's open presents Presents are the best time. Okay. All right. So how did I come up with the list? How did I do this? Basically, I did a community post. I think a lot of people participated wickedly more than I thought. You're all so generous and giving. Okay. Okay. All right. So what I've done is I've collated everybody's ideas and I got so many that I decided I had to characterize them into groups, into the purpose. Now, the big gift is at the very end, and it's a good one. It's a very good one. Um, but I will explain everything on the list um, and where the inspiration comes from. There's about five pages, I think. Yes. And we can talk. We can joke. We can make other suggestions. I can always go back and add to the list. Um, if you put them in the chat or in the comments at the very end, I'll add. Because we can always, you know, we'll start getting ideas for next year. Oh, 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 our chat's the best. We have the best time. We are so chill in here. Everyone gives great ideas, good comments, respectful, funny. We love it. Hi, Kelly. Hello. I'm old. I refuse to change. Okay. Charisma is, it is. Whenever I hear the word charisma, I think of Charisma Carpenter from um, Buffy and Angel. That's what I think of. Oh, thanks for the $1.99, gal. I was in your chat, your live stream earlier today, but the dog got a little bit rumbunctious and you had to cut it off. But, yeah, that's how I saw the baby. Okay, desperate phone call, duct tape. Yes, that was one of the suggestions and I'll explain why. Okay, so I did put this to music. I was inspired by Foodie. It's a Bonita ripoff. Oh, we'll go back. Okay, so presents. Okay, so this one is an outfit. I had to find foodie and outfit. Now, there were many suggestions, and this did come up not just from me, but a few people. Now, someone suggested we needed to get a blacker buyer, but we had to get 10 of them, seven of them. But I thought, nah, let's go 10. So you'll see that there are 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And why is that? Okay, we've got seven, one for every day of the week. So she only has to wash once every seven days. But I put in three extra. And why do you think I put in three extra? Okay, she spills. And that way she doesn't have to work, walk around with like sour cream or curry or like falafel juice all over her. And in case she gets her sleeves all drippy in there. Now, the one I picked has got very soft sleeves. Do you see? It's an easy wash. It's drip dry. It is actually made out of terry toweling. That was another suggestion. A couple of reasons. Easy to wash, soft on the skin, um, absorbent, because we know she's a spiller. 
Okay, that's the reason. And black, she loves black. But I've got a little bit of a design on there to make it a little bit tizzy because she's a fancy lady. Okay, now mirrors. Mirrors were hot on the topics as well. Um, oh, a bag of carrot for multiple use. Oh, 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 <laughs> that's thrown me. <laughs> Holy yes, yes. Well, to eat, to put in salads and stuff, right? And for the hamster, because we've got to feed Harry. Um, <laughs> your your coffee machine is your husband. Perfect. That falafel is juicy. Oh, look. no, it, we will make sure that she will get her a buyers in the correct size 5XL. But there is another addition that I've got that will make this a buyer possible. But that's at the very end. Okay. Mirrors. We've got a handheld for when she travels so she can check herself out, you know, take care of that skin, apply the makeup, you know, maybe maybe if she's had an actual mirror that she looked in, she might she might do better makeup, she might not wear embarrassing hats, she might fix her hijabs a little bit better. The full-length mirror is was suggested and I got ones with the beauty, beauty lights on them. I thought that would be a good one that she could put into, you know, into a makeup room or the spare room or whatever room they're using these days. Because I don't believe Foodie actually takes a good, long, hard look at herself. I don't think she does. I think she just throws on her clothes and goes, yep, this will do. This is enough. But we know she tries because she does the makeups. She puts in the effort to try and buy fancier buyers. But I don't feel like she actually looks in the mirror too much. Too many filters. A mirror is not filtered. But that'll be the next thing, won't it? That'll be it. That'll be, that'll be the next AI technology, a filtered mirror to make you feel good about yourself. It'll be called a steam mirror. It'll make you feel skinny, look skinny. Oh, God. I've just gave, given someone a billion dollar idea right there. Now, what does every what does every gal need? A new pair of sketches. Now, I was thinking, because I'm a thinking kind of gal, <laughs> she likes stained buyers. It means she's eaten. Oh, it's probably... She can smell the food. So if she's trying to fast, at least she can smell it if she can't taste it. I did buy her some slip-on, slip-on sketches because we know it's difficult with the bung leg and the dicky back and the gunt to bend down to do those laces up. And Velcro is not for a mature, sophisticated lady. So I thought a nice slip-on pair of sketches instead with a little loop on the back to help her pull them on because it'd be a bit embarrassing if she had to ask Sala to put her shoes on. I mean, fucking hell. Okay, somebody else suggested that perhaps Foodie needs to upgrade her makeup and get herself a nice new red lipstick. I think it was quote unquote, she needs to get rid of that whore red. Now, I know a lot of people call red lipsticks whorish. I don't know. I, don't, I, I guess it's who you are. But that was that was the explanation. Now, Chanel, we know she loves a Chanel lipstick. She was coveting one in the Duty free going through Thailand. This one is exactly called a bluish red because she needs a cool toned red. And if we're going to go all out, it's her birthday. We're going to get her a designer brand. And um, it's kind of like the one I bought for myself because I'm allowed to buy whatever I want. I don't have to ask permission. Now, speaking of mouths, whore mouths, okay, the duct tape. The duct tape was suggested so she could learn to keep her fucking mouth shut because um, she has no impulse control she has no way to like basically engage her brain and decision making process we're just going to basically gaffer tape her mouth closed but she'll have the red beautiful red chanel lipstick on but we're just going to put a bit of tape over maybe it'll train her to keep to think before you speak if only we could we might have to gaffer her fingers up as well so she doesn't type before she thinks and do stupid community posts as well Mm. Yeah, your breezes. That's Sala's room. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Lala. Hi, Lala Boo. Hello. Hi. Oh, yes. I know. And some mirror. Oh, look, I used to work in women's fashion, and it is all about the lighting, the size of the mirror, the height of the mirror, where they put them. It does make a big difference. But at the end of the day, you go home and look in your own mirror, and it tells you what you look like. Don't listen to the sales lady. If she says you look good in it and you don't feel good in it, don't buy it. Now, this one, this this little guy here, what does every girl need when she's getting ready in the mornings? She needs a picture of her love. Now, this is not Sala. Do not be fooled. This is, in fact, 
a healthy looking nutter. And what's he got next to him? His trusty, wusty math pipe. This was a suggestion from Anola. Anola suggested this one because she's a thinker too. She is a she's an artsy lady, so she she's got very creative thoughts. So I've put that in there because Foodie can moo and ma over her one true love that she lost. She loved, she lost. He sat back and smoked the math. Okay. All right. Next section. Oh, and you can can you wax with duct tape? I did not know that. That sounds like an extreme camping kind of survival situation there, natural ginger. Have you tried that? Have you tried that? God, I wouldn't do that. Oh, God, no. Ugh, ouchie. Okay. Now, if Foodie's getting a new outfit, Sally's getting a new outfit. Now, where do we start? Where do we start? Okay. First of all, the theme. What's the theme? What's the theme for today? It is gangrene and glitter. So the man's got a team with the theme. It'll look good up against her black buyer. So we've got a nice, beautiful matching set because he does like a suit. He does like a suit, our seller. We saw him in the John Revolting um, outfit. Oh, I'm sweating so hard. Oh, my God, it's hot in here. Um, we saw him in the, the Saturday Night Fever suit, you know, the white one when he took a shopping for the buyers when he got, like, the worst-looking buyers in the shop. Um, and I thought, you know, let's do him a matching set. We want to look fancy for this big do that we're going to. Now, we did put a jester hat on it because the man's got a sense of humour and he's got a big ass head and it's a bit bit much and people will stare. So I've decided to give him a nice complimenting jester hat. You know, it's funny, it's silly, he's just trying to make his lady laugh. And I watch every great, fancy, expensive man has a watch so I thought let's get him a little plastic number the watch is in congruence with the value of the man this is literally a children's toy watch I feel like Sally Sally would be the value that that's the kind of watch that he deserves not a Rolex not an Omega not a what's that Tegas or Tagus or whatever it's called we're going to get a plastic 20 cent gumball machine watch for this man. Yeah. That suit needs to be, it does need to be brown, but it doesn't team with the theme. I was going to get her a browner buyer. But then I thought that man's going to be Randy the entire party. She won't make it through to the cake. So we just went with something a little bit more subtle in the black. Okay. Now, oh, Thunder Rain, you're still number 31 on the list. Oh, God. Yes, exactly, Lock Dog. Sames, Sames. We did the Velcros because, look, it's embarrassing when your mum has to tie her own shoes and Foodie has trouble getting her own shoes on. It's embarrassing when she has to get down and do up his laces for him because he doesn't know how to do it because I'm sure he got that done for him his whole life. So we've got some really cute and they're going to match the watch. They're going to match because we've got to be matching because that's the couple that matches, you know, scratches. Okay, now what does every good outfit need? Ladies, good foundation garments. Now, Sally is a curvy gal. She needs the support through the hips. She needs the support through the tum-tums and she needs the support through the top. But we want to be comfy. You know, we don't want to be fiddling with underwires all night and pulling and tugging at ourselves. We want to be able to enjoy the night with wild abandon. So I've got him a nice, comfortable, seamless contour shape where to go underneath this. Pulls everything up and in and no jiggly bit. You know, I thought that was lovely. And that one's from Sheen. Anybody interested, that is from Sheen. And I think it's $12.95, okay? Now, he is there for Chantal. He is there for Chantal. Okay, hi, Lady Lithium. Hello. Movie night suit, not marriage suit. No, this is for this is a fun time suit. When you get married, you wear denim jeans and a letterman jacket. You show the, the, the moment, the respect it deserves. You show up dressed like a homeless teenager that's what you do that's what you get married in not a suit what are you talking about Nicola come on get with it you're not hip and cool like Salah now he's there for foodie so what do we we got to do we got to bring snacks we got to make sure the lady is fed what if the catering doesn't show up in time and she has to wait five minutes to get the food what if the Bay Marie's just did not heat up the curry fast enough he is prepared he is ready on hand we got pretzels we got oreos we got snacks we got nuts we got olives we got pickles we got it all we've got everything this bag is an extra large full of snacks and the pink it all matches 
say we are a matching gal. Now that's Sala sorted. So the couple is ready for the night. Okay. So, okay. So we're at the venue. Okay. We're rolling out the red carpet because Foodie is a red carpet kind of gal. You know, he needs skims. He does. Yes. Fashion by people. <laughs> Move support, he does. He needs the man boob support. Oh, uh, he needs, he needs, you know, those things that horses have on them, the blinders, that's what he needs. And he needs a nose for, like, those swimmer plugs to block his nose and just don't, learn to not breathe through your mouth. That's what he needs. Oh, no, not five minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's, and I realise people are going to be jumping in there because they're probably getting ready for work, having breakfast, getting kids ready or starting their work day. Totally fine. I jabber. I'm a jibber jabber. Now, I've pulled out the birthday parties. We've got string lights. We've got balloons. We've got urns. Now, do not worry, guys. These are not real camels. These are plush sized camels. They are plushies. They are statues. They are paddable because we did not want to have any live animals at this event. We are cruelty free and we've seen what Chantal does when she sees a real camel. She is all up in their space. She has no care for their personal space or comfort. So we've gone with faux camels, okay? And they're going to greet her on her way in. Now, what's the site location, you ask cooks? Where have we scouted for this premium event? This is actually a dump site. Yes! We are having the circus tent set up on a pile of garbage. I felt, I kind of feel like a relationship built on trash. But that her birthday on a pile of trash garbage for garbage you know it all ties in because i'm a thinker i'm a thinker now when we roll on up inside here chantal is going to be doing a little baby dance she's going to be like oh what have we got what are we going to eat because that will be her first thought now um is foodie eats first right oh no sorry i forgot i forgot now this is for ruthie and anola you know how at fancy weddings at fancy weddings you'll get a box of butterflies you pull the ribbon beautifully and the butterflies elegantly fly into the air symbolizing a new beginning and uh, you know love and beauty and all that crap well we are going to have the bot fly on jarring yep every guest gets a jar of bot fly Yep, and special cream, topical cream to keep them at bay. I'm going to screw off the lid. I'm going to wave it around. And then the baby botfly maggots are just going to fend for themselves. I've got them in the bottom here. And then the mama and papa botflies are just going to go nuts. Absolutely nuts. We're going to have the botfly and, and hoping, hoping that they are going to be Booty's favourite present. They are the gift that she'll notice in a couple of days maybe. You know, the botfly babies that are growing in her feet, in her skin, under her armpits, in her folds. We can only hope, we can only hope that she gets the most butterflies out of everybody. We'll be fine because we we know about the surprise. The couple doesn't know about this surprise. They didn't get the special cream. We got the special cream, you know, because we're prepared. But, yes, we're going to have beautiful botfly babies as they enter the tent. It's going to be buzzing around everywhere. Beautiful, beautiful. Hi, guys. Good morning. Yeah, bot fly babies. Okay. Now, catering. We've got every stewed meat under the sun. We've got curries. We've got cormas. We've got roast veg. We've got potatoes. We've got roti. We've got paneer. We've got breads. More breads than you need to know what to do with. But you know what else we need? We need a fruity sized pot. Because it's her birthday, she can have all the rice she wants. Pot of rice. Now, you may think this is for everyone. No, 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 no. This catering size pot is for foodie only. She can scoop. She can take this. She can take this dish down here. And she could literally just dump it over the top of that rice. Take the oversized spoon that she's going to probably get for a present. And just munch away without judgment. And we're all just going to sit there and watch her eat because it's her funnest thing that she does. People, we're all just going to sit around and we're just going to watch. We're just going to watch. We're just going to listen to the sounds of her jaw clicking 
and her masticating the beef curry rolling around in her mouth sauce are flying napkins thrown in like confetti it's going to be amazing and sal was probably going to be in the back corner hitting on the weight stuff who knows who knows where sal's going to be guarding the snacks probably because we wouldn't want to let them get stolen okay so that's the catering food taken care of okay oh it's all there that's literally it's all there. okay and okay so after We've had our meal. It's time to cut the game. Time to cut the game. So we bought some fun glasses for Chantal because, you know, she's an entertainer. She's a crazy girl. She likes to have a bit of fun with everybody. Okay. And this is like a little gift kit. We're going to take photos in the photo booth. And this is the little keepsake that everybody gets to take home with them. A little picture of cutie on her birthday. You know, now the cake. The cake's a bit of a joke too. We're just having a bit of funsies with her. Happy birthday, Baldy. One little one little solitary candle because we don't want to show her age. She's a bit embarrassed about turning 40. I don't know why, but she's a bit embarrassed. Okay, happy birthday. And this is, again, this is not a cake for to share. This is a cake for foodie. It's like a smash cake. She's going to get a little fist in there. She's going to scoop it out. She's going to just eat it straight with her hands. No knife, no fork, no plates. She's literally just going to flip it up into it. Just flip it up and just. You know, and she's you can already see that she's had a little bit. She snuck a bit waiting. She's, no one will see. No one will see. She couldn't even wait. Couldn't even wait to blow the candle out before she tasted some. But, yeah, and she's got a little mukbang, little mukbang table she brought it with, you know, because she has to film every time she eats something. <laughs> you know, that's our foodie, right? That's our foodie. Hi, Naomi. Hello. I see life. Hello. I see you. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to open some more. Okay, now it's presents time. It's actually part of the presents, okay? All that other stuff is just prep, you know, like bridesmaids get their brides ready. That's just all stuff, you know, bestie got all that stuff ready, and that bestie is me. Okay, so now we're actually getting into presents, okay? Presents, okay? So first thing first, I do not know how many times people were asking dental hygiene. Dental hygiene, toothbrushes, floss, water picks. But I started with the basics. I didn't want to confuse foodie. I didn't want to overwhelm her. So basically, we've got a toothbrush and toothpaste. We've got some floss because that's pretty basic. I think even foodie could manage that. We've seen how she holds a spoon. She knows how to hold a toothbrush. She's clearly got the grip. But we feel like maybe if we send her some instruction manuals or an instruction manual on oral hygiene, it might give her the push in the right direction. It might just help her out a little bit to get those gnashes sort of ship shape you know until she can get to the dentist now booty is wearing a, a cute little top here you might think it's just a classic white blouse no nay i say nay it is special because it's a little straight jacket it's gucci don't worry i went fancy i did not go i did not thrift shop this one i went straight to the top and got her a gucci straight jacket you know, just for those moments where she maybe should not be typing on the computer, she can whack this number on, Sala can buckle her up, and then she'll be like, right, I'll just wait for the moment to pass. Wait for the moment to pass. I mean, she can barely move as it is. Do you think she can get out of that? Hell nah. Hell is nah. Okay, what do we got here? We've got all sorts of meds, all the meds, blood pressure meds. We've got the Ozempics. We've got Metformin, Prozac, Lithiums, whatever. Her team of doctors will diagnose her with she's got the meds. This was highly requested as well. With correct medical care, that was the other stipulation. Okay, meds, just the meds, meds. Okay, some really strong extra strength for Breeze. We all know why. She's probably going to funk up this straight jacket here, hardcore. Um, oh, a brand new blood sugar reader. How embarrassing is it that she's got the broken one? And she's how does she know her readings are accurate? Because she is a stickler for monitoring her blood sugars. She's very on top of taking care of her health. We want her to have the right equipment. So we've got her a new blood sugar level reader. Yeah, think we think of everything. I know. And you know what? You guys were so generous. The sky was the limit. No, you didn't hold back. You would have banged them out. 
some people said one or two and then some people had like a whole a whole paragraph prepared i like the vision i like i like thinkers okay the other thing that fruity doesn't yet have i don't believe is a medic alert system a little panic button what if there's a fire? What if she trips and falls and breaks a hip and Salah's not there? He's out fucking about doing something else. I don't know, Ubering, making bees a spray, red rooming it. Who knows? Sitting in his car, texting away, huffing a fart of his own because that's his only supplier at the moment. But we need a medic alert system. She's in peril. She might need a saving. Okay, depends. Depends. This is the medical side of it. People are being thoughtful. This is almost like a survival kit, I think. Everyone's worried about her. But we've got some depends because we don't want any accidents. When we do leave the house, we want to make sure those brand new buyers stay in good condition. So we've got some depends. And this, if you look, they are super plus, which means they are up to 5XL. I looked at the measurements and they are wider than she's tall. For the girth it's 165 centimeters was the largest size so i think foodie would easily be able to slide these guys on where i'm always thinking now somebody wanted soapy soap they wanted the soapiest soap you can find so soapy soap foamy soap the cleaner the better more bubbles more better and grandpa grandpa jim I didn't even know that I knew what this was. I remember being younger and when I lived on a property where we lived in caravans, there was always this scratchy soap at the sink. Now, the the, the person that we lived with that was in the house owned a line marking business and a screen printing business. So they were always getting things on their hands. And I used to, as a child, wash my hands with this really scratchy soap. It was mechanic soap or like people that are have lots of dirt on their hands. It's not very foamy, but it's abrasive and it scrubs all the grime and the oil and the dirt and the work off your hands. And here I am, little cookie at the sink. Oh, it's not foaming, but it's cleaning my hands, stripping the skin straight from the bone. Lava soap. Lava soap to get into the folds, to clean her off. Probably the buildup of like unwashed I know tzatziki, hummus, that's just dribbled and absorbed in. Like we want to get the crust off. We want to get really get in there and get her clean. So we're going to get her some lava soap, a non-broken, a non-tamper proof scale. And it had to be specifically non-tamper proof. Now, I don't know if they exist, but I figure let's get rid of the digitals and go back to the analog where we've got the weight. I think you've got a little button underneath that you might be able to tweak, but I figured this would be less easy for Foodie to fuck around with and pretend with. I don't know if she'd understand how to use it, but we're going to get her a non-tamper-proof, uh, a tamper-proof uh, scales. I live for that soap after painting. Yes, it gets all the stuff off your hands. It's really, really good, right? Oh, hello, Capone. Hello. How are you? Hi, shenanigans. Hello. Did you check out my playlist? I managed to get two any one two two any one songs in there. Che Chalaga, I am the best and hate you. Just saying, I managed to sneak some in there. Okay, moving over here. Does anybody recognize this? Has anybody been a uni and done like medicine or biology or I don't know, just freakishly understand what these kind of molecules are? Does anybody know? Oh. Okay, that would be good. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be fun. I put you over my cart and now it feels like I'm on a journey with Steve Irwin. Oh, fantastic. Oh, because of the way I'm talking. <laughs> At rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid fire. This is the herpes virus, simplex or whatever it's called. Somebody wanted to give foodie herpes. Now, I don't think they actually wanted to give her the herpes. Like, Give her the herpes. I think they wanted her to spawn, just like my Mary spawned Jesus. She's just going to spawn the genital herpes. That, that look, I don't know if that's a nice present, but that's what somebody wanted to give her. So here I am giving the gifts. I'm like Oprah. I am literally like Oprah. Now, this one is truth you can't really see and I can't shift it. This is a lie detector. Now, it is a special customized lie detector for foodie when she tells a lie 
a balloon pops. It inflates and pops. Now, we're hoping this system, well, I'm hoping this system kind of works like Pavlov's dog. You know, you hit the bell, you get the food. Hit the bell, you get the food. If she tells the lie and the balloon pops, it's going to put her off lying. And eventually, we'll always be in the green and not in the red. You know, hope springs eternal. If she's pathological, it may not work. If she's a sociopath, she'll beat the lie detector. These are things that we don't know about, foodie, but this is what somebody wanted to give to her, and I think that's beautiful. I think that's sentimental, that one. Foodie's going to love this part. Oh, my God. I bet she's drilling. If she's watching, I bet she's drilling. Okay. Now, I've put the metformin in here because it's related to food. She's got to take the metformin to counterbalance the food that she's eating. Now, this one was so fun. A couple of these are mine. Some of these are very specifically yours. We'll start in the top left-hand corner. This is various jars of pickles. We've got carrots. We've got radishes. We've got fucking actual cucumbers, all the pickles, just pickles as far as the eye can see. We've got a warehouse of pickles for foodie. Okay, various pickles. Now, foodie is not much of a chef. She's not much of a cook. Well, she tries, but she's not very good. So we have got her a cookbook, a nice, easy cookbook, and a multi cooker to try and use. She's got a tiny little bench. Multi cooker will do the rice, do the pastas, do the soups, do the stews. She can literally just throw everything in, put the lid on, and walk away. I mean, it's foodie type of cooking. It's the everything cooker. I don't. I'm, I'm surprised she doesn't already have one. I mean, Salah buys her everything she wants. That would have been better than getting a million pots that she doesn't use. Now, moving on, a brand new back scratcher. I'm sure this would work on rice. I'm sure this would work on your mac and cheese, your shawarma. Hell, I mean, if you can use your fingers, you can use a back scratcher. And we're going to give her lots because we know she doesn't wash up. She never, she's never washing up. And these are environmentally friendly. These are made of bamboo. They're sustainable. We are a sustainable crew. If food isn't, we certainly are. Now, this one was highly, highly requested. Flatware, actual utensils and dinner plates. And I've given her some really nice ones. Hell, I know she's lacking in the chopstick skills, but maybe if she had some nice ones, she could practice a bit. Lots of forks. I mean, with this table setting, she could have a fork in one hand and a spoon in the other. She could be double fisting it if she had an actual set and actually set the table. I think this is pretty. Do you think this this would never happen at Foodie's house though? But we are going to give her the tools and see what she does with them. Now, there is a caveat with this particular table setting. Everything is platter sized. Everything, every plate is a platter. We don't have any of those dinky little, you know, dinner plates. Everything is a platter size, okay? That's how we roll at Foodie's House. Peeps, somebody wanted to give her a bunch of peeps. I I think I recall the reference to what the peeps are about. Um, but, yeah, somebody wanted to give them, give them to her. This one, I don't know if you guys use this, this phrase where you're from. She loves, but, yeah, she does love the pickles. Yep, Valtrex. Oh, yes, that's for the herpes, right? Motorcycle go with the cheesy paint. Oh, yes. Oh, the sexual things. Ugh. Yep, gross. Um, okay, so if you want to give someone a goose egg, that means you want to give them a big fat zero, a big fat nothing. If it's like it's almost like a diss. I want them to have nothing. So somebody wanted to give her a goose egg. So that is exactly what that is there. A goose egg, a big fat nothing. Now, this one, again, is Enola's suggestion. Enola had a list. She was one of the people that had a paragraph. She had a few. She wanted the Botfly Babies. Uh, what else did she want? Oh, I've, I'm sure I've added them in, or they'll double ups. But she wanted Lockmas and exactly 72 of them. I don't know why the 72 is appropriate. Oh, that reminds me, numbers. I had to say 45 and 56 for Rudy with autism. There you go, Rudy. I said the numbers that I said I'd say in the next stream. But, yeah, she wanted exactly 72 Lockmas. I think she wanted Foodie to recreate the hate, the Nutella Lockmas. I think that's what Anola was looking for, freak. She's such a freak, that Anola. Okay. Okay. Now, this one, Foodie's going to be travelling, absolutely travelling. I'm trying to remember what the chainsaw was for. Somebody wanted to give her a chainsaw, maybe to cut off a leg. 
I don't know. But they wanted to give her a chainsaw, so we have a chainsaw. Now, this one, people were worried about Foodie Beauty's mental health and her physical health. And I thought, well, how, how do we do that? How, how do I fix that? And I thought, what better than a health retreat? So we're going to send to this cool new place called Food and Therapy Retreat, or FAT for short. It's called the FAT Retreat. So we're going to go, we're going to meditate. We're going to eat beautiful whole foods. We're going to go for walks in rainforests. We're going to sit in saunas and hot tubs and have massages and do yogas. We're going to do all the calming things. No social media, none of that. We're just going to be totally tuned out and switched off. Now, this hopefully will help with this gift, a new brain, a new sense of self-awareness, losing of the delusions, healthy just a healthy brain and a better attitude. That's what people were hoping to give to foodie. And we're hoping the fat retreat would do that. Yep, yep, yep. Now, what's this over here? What's this glowy thing? No, we don't want to give foodie beauty. Um, uh, we don't want to make her radioactive. Um, this is her soul. Somebody wanted to give her a brand new soul. I think some people are concerned, um, concerned that, she might have lost hers somewhere along the line. I don't know if she's lost it. Maybe she just misplaced it. Maybe it's been filed in the wrong part of the brain or her emotional or moral compass is just like a bit fucking skewed. But soul, uh-huh, yep, that's, that's, and you know what? Her soul's got a very trim figure. She's lovely. She's got a lovely shape, this one. Nice little nipped-in waist, lovely thigh. She's pretty. I think I'm crushing on her soul. Okay, now... Where is this fat camp located, guys? Where do you think it is? It's in the homeland. Canada. So we've got a one-way ticket to Canada. Yep. Uh, hey, we have a huge budget over here at the Doe-Eyed Cookie um, and the Cookie Cutters. We have an un, we have all the dinars. We have all the currencies. The sky is the limit. Now, this one down here. Now, this one, when I heard it and read it, I thought, I don't know if that's a good gift feel like for foodie it might be the gift that turns everything around for her a big dose of shame a bit of humbleness you know a little bit of hubris um somebody wanted to give her a great big potato mashed potato scooping of shame and i feel like a little bit of that might bring it down to earth and help her out a little bit you know I mean, sometimes being embarrassed if you did something dumb will stop you from doing the dumb. Would you not agree? I'm sweating. I'm sweating like a whore in church. I'm sweating like foodie going for a walk outside or literally sitting on the couch. That's what I'm sweating like. It's so hot in here today. Or it could be my special drink. Okay, next one. <laughs> okay, now, now, this was the biggest expense of of the day this this was the one now i figured if we're going to go all out let's do it let's do it i created the dream team for foodie okay who have we got over here we have a responsible adult this person is basically just going to follow foodie around and smack shit out of her hand we're going to get her up in the morning we're going to tell her when to do the washing when she's got to go to bath this is her nanny basically an adult nanny okay, like a, a supervisor, manager type person, okay. I think in Britain you have a system where you can have a responsible adult look after somebody who's a little bit going off the rails. Now we've got a professional chef. It's going to cook up all the good foods that foodie needs and also cook up that food that she basically treats like crack but in a healthy, yummy way. And he'll even put it in pretend packaging so she thinks it's in like a takeaway it's takeaway food. But we're going to get her a chef. We've got a cleaning crew to come in and keep the space tidy because if she's got a clean house, she's got no reason not to do all the hard mental work, you know. And who's going to look after Sally, Sally when she's away at the fat retreat, the food and therapy retreat? Well, who's going to look after Sala? And it's a boy and a girl because that way Sally will keep his hands off the girl. He's going to be there when she's there so there'll be no funny business, all right? Now, this is her content manager and editor to help her create new and better 
content. Mm -hmm. They're going to come up with the ideas. All she's got to do is film it. They're going to cut it, edit it, and just basically manage her YouTube channel for her, okay, because she is completely incapable of doing a good job on her own. This lady down here, okay, okay, seamstress, yes, we're going to make, hem, let out, let in, create foodie fashions. She's going to be on call, on staff. She's going to mend. She's hail. She might even wash, wash the crusty buyers. But yes, we're going to have a seamstress because if you're going to, you feel good when you look. We've got a PT here because duh, and it's a woman because foodie obviously cannot focus when there's a hunky fit man around. I mean, we've seen what she does when Sal's around. She just loses her shit. Doesn't know what to do with a good looking man. Um, so we're going to have a PT. She's going to be. No, she's basically going to be FFG with a blonde ponytail. She's not going to take any shit. She's going to tell her exactly what to do. Foodie's going to do it. The manager and her, they're going to be in cahoots together. We're getting this shit done, okay? We have a money manager. Foodie doesn't get to have money anymore. She's got a money manager for that. She has to worry about near a thing. This lady's going to count the pennies, count the dinars, Count the shekels or the ruples or the whatever it is that the Kuwait's got. We've got a money manager. Now, this lady is not allowed around Salah. Salah's not allowed to talk to this lady. He's got no input whatsoever. This is foodie's money manager, okay? And just a doctor. Now, this is a very special doctor. Crime scene cleaners, they are specialists. They are the best damn cleaners in Kuwait. Don't you worry. I've looked them up. I did a background check on them. No phonies or frauds for our foodie. Um, this man is a chiropractor, a diabetes doctor, a psychiatrist, a psychologist, um, bloody hormone specialist, gynecologist, obstetrician, rectal, uro he does it all. He specializes in everything. He is basically the doogie hauser of the medicine world. He started, he became a doctor when he was 12. He's he's fantastic yep this man does it all it's a one man band this guy okay so that's foodie beauty's dream team okay they all live in a share house and they just peel off each other one comes in the next one comes out she's never left alone with sala because he's a fucking freak but yes this is the team okay now people people the most beautiful people in the world she needs a drill instructor that's the pt is and the supervisor's no slouch either. She got a backbone of steel, this one. She's British. She's got a British accent. She's basically the nanny meets the dog trainer meets those mean ladies that cleaned people's houses. That's the kind of lady we've got in that supervisor. Now, people were thinking about Julia, okay, because we did notice that Julia's fur is looking less than Stella. She's got some knots. She's got some mats. So we are going to send Julia, the beautiful Julia, a brush that Foodie's probably never going to use, but it is there. Maybe Seller will pick it up and give her a brush. or Maybe one of the cleaners will do it. But we've also going to send her a $200 200KD vet voucher. So there's no reason to not get the cat spayed, get her teeth looked at, get her claws clipped, get a good grooming, worming, whatever this cat needs, the 200KD, that's about 800 bucks. That should be enough, aside from any medical emergencies, to keep this cat looked after for at least the next year if she's actually taken to the vet. So there is no reason for this cat not to be going. Now, this little gadget I found, I might actually buy myself one, is a nail trimmer, an electric one that you can put batteries in, and it is specifically quiet because I know my cat freaks out when any motors turn on anything that's got moving parts it's just and he freaks out he doesn't like it this one is whisper whisper quiet so we've got a nice easy claw trimmer that even Sala could use to get Julia's nails so we do not have another BBJ situation we do not want another cat under the household of Chantal to get ingrown claws okay because this cat doesn't go outside she's only got carpet we're going to make sure that we've got the right tools to take care of the baby cat, okay? Their presence for Julia. Harry was not featured. Nobody offered presents up for Harry because I honestly think we all think Harry's gone. Harry is gone to the hamster wheel in the sky, I think. Okay, now these are presents for Sala. 
But you know, we can't give foodie all the attention all the time. Okay, so Sala's got a little bit of presence. Okay, first of all, air tags. Air tags, so we know where he is at all times. Foodie Beauty will be able to track her manses all day. We're going to put it on his shoes. We're going to hide it in his jacket. I mean, put it in his jacket pocket, put it in the, the T-Go or his car, um, in his underwears, everywhere he goes, Foodie's going to know. Okay, and when she's away in Canada at the fat camp, we've got a little nanny cam that we're going to put up so we can see him when he's coming in, in coming out, who's going into the house, who's going out, who's who his mates when these mates come over, making sure they're none of the booby type of mates. We've got nanny cam. Now, Sal is a sexual guy. He's obviously made that well known to the entirety of the internet. Plenty of tissues. We're going to go bulk tissues. We've bought 454 boxes of tissues and he's probably going to use them all up within the first month of foodie being away. But tissues, anybody who's got teenage boys understand that tissues go mysteriously missing and so does the toilet paper when you run out of tissues. That's enough said about that. This is a 10-foot pole to touch Chantal with. Um, I thought would it be nice. I thought the metallic might be potentially a hazard and potentially a weapon. So we've gone with just a light balsa wood, something light, something easy to wield. Doesn't matter if it gets broken, easy to wash, just give it a good sand, clean it down, and he can just poke her from afar. You know, she'll feel, she, it could feel like a hand. She wouldn't know. And the necrosis has set in. She couldn't tell if it was a hand, finger, or a foot at this stage. So we've got a 10-foot pole. And that tends to be the exact measurement for when you're completely grossed out by another person. 10 feet. <laughs> Who knew? And this one, this is the big present. Now, this one was the hardest to, to procure, to be honest, was a jar full of Kai Bella's farts. Now, this is a special jar. It actually has an absorbent outer glass. So the glass allows the scent to permeate inside of the, the actual top. So when you take the top off, even when the fart has been completely huffed, there'll be always be a little bit of, it's like a perfume bottle. There'll always be remnants, remnants of the fart sticking to the glass. It'll be etched in there. So this was a very expensive jar. Um, Kybella does not know she's donated these. Don't ask me how I got them. Don't ask me. I have my ways. Okay. I know people. I am an international jewel thief after all. Okay. So we've got him a Mac, and it's it's the size of like those giant jumbo Cheeto, you know, those cheese ball jars. That's the size of the jar we're talking about. So he can almost get his entire face in there and just <sighs> like he's taking a hit, taking a foot to the face. Yep, he's gonna love it. He's going to cream his acid wash jeans when he sees that jar. Okay, now this is a big present. This is the big one. Okay. I Googled, I searched, I looked. I have bought Mariam. I mean, you know when someone turns like when you have a big anniversary, you turn 16 or when you turn 17 in Australia or, you know, you somebody's graduated. What do they get? They get wheels, right? They get a car. Or well, Foodie, being where she is, doesn't like to drive. And she's probably not safe. She can't see very well. So I've decided since she loves to go out to the desert and there's lots of sand in Kuwait, it can be a bit perilous. I've gotten my girl four-wheel drive. I've got her an all-terrain scooter, a mobility scooter. We've got it in racing car, red. We've got extra suspension in the seat. We've bought her some accessories, which you'll see in a minute. It's got a light on the front. We've got durable wheels. This thing is fucking banging. Oh, and we've got specs. All the geeks in the in the um people who like to break it down oh well, there's a blurb there's a blurb about this bad boy this is the shit this scooter okay so don't worry about the cost don't worry about the cost i've got a limitless credit card balance when it comes to this so this is the s8x mobility scooter comes in a couple of colors but i thought the red you know for when she's raging and when she wants to rip you know when she wants to let it go she can zoom in through the streets of kuwait on this thing now these are the specs, okay? 
Oh, just in case anybody wants to get this for their nana or something. Okay, so this thing has got a look at the motor on it, 200 amp motor. I don't even know what that means. But anyway, um, it meets Australian and New Zealand standards, but I'm sure there is a Kuwaiti version of this one. And if it meets our rugged terrain, I'm sure it'll be fine for Kuwait. You know, we are one of the most treacherous terrains and climates in the world. Um, it's got double wishbone comfort suspension. I'm sure that's really good. Extra strength tubular engineered framing. Um it's amazing, okay, but here are the actual numbers, okay? Now, this is where I really think I did the best. I don't know if you guys can read that, but what's the weight capacity? I found a mobility scooter that will not go when she's riding it. No, this guy, 165 kg, boom, don't tell me I'm not a good friend. Don't tell me I'm not a good friend. This thing could carry one and a half rocks. Mm -hmm. That's that's strong, I know. Or one foodie beauty. I mean, she's only got a small, about a 20, 20 kilo buffer, but that's all we need. That's all we need, okay? We've got the big motor. We've got, what have we got? Um, an eight amp off-board something. Um, she could do up to 50 Ks in this thing from one charge. I mean, that's across the road. How many times to go to the beach? Oh, that'd be like 100 trips to the beach. She wouldn't have to charge it. Um, and it's got an easy control panel, a clock, a temperature reader, which would be important in Kuwait, trip meter, odometer, speedo, high and low end range, hazard lights, indicators, um, and a, a brain. So Sal wouldn't even have to repair this thing. It'll tell us what's wrong. Oh, it's amazing. That's her big gift. Okay. And I bought her some accessories. Now, she does live in a climate where it's very sunny and very hot. So we've got a little, nice little shade that she can put on the top to protect her fine alabaster skin, I guess. And a luggage compartment at the back. She's got a little basket on the front, but we've got a little one at the back because why? Why do we need storage? Snacks. She's going to be out roaming the streets on her own. Sal is not going to be with her. Who's going to be bringing? He's not going to be bringing the luggage bag full of snacks. She's going to have to carry her own. Okay. And she's got to keep her phone in there. She's got to be able to track Sala. So we've got her a little sun hood, and then we've got her a little storage bag for a little snackity snacks and or a little, you know, spyware. So that's her big, big gift. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to mention. We did buy her a barrel of gravy. I forgot to talk about the gravy. I got so excited by the 72 Lotmas. Okay, see this here? Gravy was mentioned, and I thought, why not just get her a barrel, a massive barrel, and it's on tap so she can just drink it like juice, drink it like pomegranate juice. Yes, okay. And that was the that's her final present. She's not getting anything else. Okay, and I just thought, you know, a nice little card for foodie at the very end. Happy birthday. And I put chickens in there because it's her absolute favourites. She loves the good chickens. She loves to roast, boil and roast, a broil, a good chicken. So happy birth, happy birthday, food of beauty. Yes, so that's that's her party. But the party's not finished, guys. The party's not finished. we still got the entertainment section to go. But let's just take a little minute to just talk about our presence or anything that we could have added in that we haven't haven't thought of a barrel that's it that's it that was so totally lots oh my god oh i am i seem to be everybody's favorite weirdo and i actually kind of like that i like being a strange bird and a bit of a weirdo as long as i'm your favorite weirdo that's all i care about I don't want to be number two or number three. I want to be the best weirdo, you know. Thank you very much for your super chat of $50, Nicola Todd. Thank you very much. Okay. I think I've been extremely generous. Their life, what would you add? What would you add in? Oh, God, I can't even think of anything more. Oh. I, I, I Honestly, I don't think she'd need to buy anything ever again. Maybe a credit card. Oh, you know what we didn't get her? We didn't get her debts paid off. She'll probably just sell everything we've given her to just pay it off or sell a will. He'll take it up to the 
probably not sell it off to Allah. He'll probably does, does anyone get the feeling that Allah would be in somebody who would have like a pawn shop, like a P A N W pawn shop, you know, buying and selling of the secondhand goods? I feel like maybe that's one of his businesses. Not in a shady way, but I just it gives me that vibe. You know. Very generous. Oh, maybe some cash. Yeah, absolutely. She needs a mic. She's got a mic. She's got a mic. The mobile is going to have to port a potty. Sorry if that's written. No, no, that's fine, Ennis. A port a potty. But is it practical? How how can we? Because oh, foodies, isn't it weird? Isn't it weird that when foodie used to live in Canada, she'd always be talking about how she'd have to run to the toilet and she's always got the loose bowels and as soon as she eats something, she'd have to run to the dunny and all that stuff. She doesn't talk that anymore now that she's in quite it's almost like that problem's completely cleared itself up she doesn't have the bubble gut anymore that's really straight it's almost like she's maybe making it up to be gross or she can't talk like that now because she doesn't have her feeders, her feeders on board anymore do you remember when see i was thinking about this today actually do we remember when sala gave foodie a little nudge with his foot when she said the word ass or bum she said something about the backside how far we've come since then foodie's literally ragging people out swearing cussing cursing telling people that her god hates them too we've come so far from that little nudge to basically getting banned on youtube for some of the posts and the words that she says huh <laughs> who would have thunked it Oh, thanks. I just feel like I've been talking and ignoring the chat so much, but oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I think, oh, I think there's a bug. Um, it's a bootleg DVDs and illicit alcohol. Probably, maybe, allegedly conspiracy, not saying that he is, but I have a vibe that that could be something as well. I hope that he is having an itchy birthday. You know, an itchy birthday, just where everything's just itchy. Hmm. Hijab, a hijab for the scooter. Well, I feel like the canopy is a bit of a hijab. You know, we could put some string lights on it, light it up. We could jazz it up. We could bedazzle the roof maybe. That might make it a bit hot though. But I feel like the scooter, she could make it her own. She could put some winged liner on it and smudge it out and maybe some big decals of Salah's stupid sloppy droopy face all over it. You know, deck it out. She said, kiss my butt, yeah, and he gave her the nudge. And now she's, like, literally calling people all sorts up and down. But, yeah, whatever. Okay, Samson, yeah, hello. Okay, so now we're moving through. We're moving through. Okay, I'm, I I was so worried that that was going to be boring for everybody, but I had fun making that, and I loved your suggestions. There were so many things in there that I didn't even think of because you guys are funny, very funny. Okay, so now are you ready for the entertainment? It's the entertainment portion of tonight. For those people who may not enjoy seeing skin and men dancing in a delightful way that may be considered, I don't, it's not, they're not nude or anything, but it, it people may see it as like too sexy or something, okay? It is, okay, your best friend's having a big birthday party, you've got to get some strippers. Now, they aren't strippers but they are male dancers doing a jig, okay? So if you don't like that stuff, look away. Close your eyes, okay? All right, let me put it up. And they are dancing to a happy, it's called Happy Birthday Cowboy Dancing. Yes. I thought it was just a good time. It was cl It's clean, healthy, adult fun, okay? And you've got to have some entertainment. You've got to have some songs. You've got to have a bit of a sing song. You've got to have some dancing, Okay. All righty. Now, these guys volunteered for this job, by the way. They said anything for Foodie Beauty. She is, oh, my God, she is a delight. Sweetest lady they've ever seen on the YouTubes. They thought, yes, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go down to Earl Ron Joy, oh, Earl Ron Boy's back paddock and we're going to kick up our boots and we're going to do a little dancey dance for Foodie Beauty on her 40th birthday. Are you ready? Oh, are you subscribed? Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Russian Sugar Girls. Oh, what's that? Russia, what's that? Oh, that's okay. Nicola, I 
agreed. But I feel like, I just feel like we could have a little bit of fun with some dancing. And this is a little bit of bumping. There is some grinding. I will, I will admit it, there's some grinding. But let's go. Okay? Good time. <laughs> Body roll. Body roll. Oh, they jumped in the air. You go. See, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Was we throwing ones? Was anybody throwing ones? Or a nice, I don't know, jacket? Or you know, just oh, put that back on. You know, I thought that was kind of fine. Those Goral Salad Depot didn't visit. Oh yes. Oh, I wonder if he calls them. I wonder if he got any digits when he was in Thailand. I wonder. Oh, see, I wonder, I bounce between he's the one being the escort type person over the phone soliciting money, and then I bounce to the other side that he is the one soliciting that kind of activity on the phone. And now I'm realising he's probably both. One pays for the other. One pays for the other. Now, guys, do we want to keep the adult, the adult part? Let's send the kids to bed. If you're a kid, it's time to leave. This is where we get into the actual proper adult content it's nothing disgusting well I don't think it's disgusting some people may now I thought it might be fun if we played a little game and the little game is called guess my kink and it's not as bad as it sounds but I just figured considering the temperature of the channel that we're talking about foodies hubby you know we want to be an inclusive society so let's see if we can guess these people's kinks some of them I've heard of, some of them I haven't. I have previewed this, guys. I have previewed this. There's nothing wickedly outlandish. There are some that are just fucking odd and a little little crazy, but it's nothing aggressive or violent or just, you know, like ugh, there's, there's no estiality or anything like that, okay? All right? But do you want to play? Yes, it is, but... Yes, but I just figured, well, it's just fun. And we're all grown-ups and it's a birthday party, so let's do it. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Okay. So the premise of this is they have a gentleman, and it's filmed really nicely. This is from YouTube. I haven't got it from the dark web or anything, and it's not gross. I watched it first before I put it up because I was like, oh, God, I don't want this to go south or get me banned or anything. It could get me banned, but, you know, whatever. It's a party, guys. So the gentleman with the hat on has got to guess these people's preferences when it comes to what happens in the bedroom and what they're into, okay? And he's got to do it just by looking at them and asking them questions and stuff. Um, I did giggle to myself a couple of times. Um, I just figured you never know just by looking at someone what they're into, right? So are you ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go. I hope you've whoever is not into this stuff has skipped out. Okay, I'm going to hit the play button. Let's go. You look like you spend a lot of time tied up. Oh, yeah. Maybe not as much as I'd like, but, you know, a measurable percentage. Hi, my name's Sid. I work in the nonprofit sector. How sexual are you? Very. What are you typically into? Women. And what about Um, intercourse. Do you have kinks? No. 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 I do. Today, you're going to be guessing what their kinks are. Ooh. What's up, man? How you doing? Hi, Neiman. Oh, hello. Hello. Jim. Okay. Jim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what you got for me? What you got for me? Yeah. You would, I mean, you know, I can't really. Hmm. Do you like food? I love food. Who doesn't love food? You like bananas? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like with <laughs> potassium. Are bananas in bed with you often? No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. So what do we think about Jim? Before it's revealed what he's into, before it gives too many hints away, what are your guesses, guys? I I couldn't think of one to begin with. I was thinking maybe 
I don't know. Because it's hard for me because I know what his thing is now. So it's hard for me to think outside the box. But I, it, his thing isn't so weird either, guys. His isn't crazy, strange or anything. Like it's not what a lot of people are into, but it's not It's not like he's not a psychopath or anything. Hi, I'll drop my only feet link later. <laughs> Um, this guy's a furry. You think he's a furry spanking? He likes being paddled with a fluffy slipper. Oh, God. So you know what? This this game is going to reveal a lot about you guys. So just be careful <laughs> with what you say, okay? Because people are like, oh, is, I've never heard of that. How did you hear about that? What does your brain bring up? But no, he likes being paddled with a paddle. Good morning. Hi, Jana. Food-related something. Furry. No. All right, let's find out what Jim's into. One banana. One banana. Yeah. Okay, give me a hint. Oh, uh, all right. It's a body part. Feet. Oh, <laughs> damn, man. Nice. You got a, you know, you got a favorite, like, shoe size? Smaller, but I have seen some very nice looking. Peaches and cream. <laughs> okay. When did you first actually participate? Do you remember which Carrots and beef. Yeah. What is that? It's like weird. That's it's like the first. That was the first. Ginger, what shit do you get up to behind closed doors? Ginger, carrots and beef. Is that something I should know about? Is that something I need to Google? Slams. Oh, yes, that was it. <laughs> the toe was better than the second. No, but it did add to the sex. Have you ever sucked the toe? You yes. did get it, Joanna. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, you got man. You oh, I'm a freak. Yeah, oh. you're, building your, <laughs> you're building your repertoire right now. Okay, yeah. thank you. Hey, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I like his voice, yeah, though, and his shoes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Really okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Everybody needs to put the seatbelts on, okay? This one is something I had. You'll never. Ever, ever, ever in a million gazillion trillionty years, guess what hers is? There is no way that you would guess. Absolutely, but guess anyway. But you'll you will not get it right. Go with sci-fi. Go with sci-fi. Yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. Okay. That's what I'm, I'm sensing. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take a good guess. All right. I'm listening. Yeah. Is it furry related? No, you're the second person to say okay. that. What is it? It's on the position. What? So. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. If anybody knows what she just said and what that means, put it in the chat. She likes the red room of pain, no? Um, oh, God. Oh, oh. Bot, ba bot fly babies. Put That's my hint. That is my hint. No? Klingons. <laughs> she likes Klingons. Close. You're getting very close, Thunder Rain. Light same sex. <laughs> what now? Very small in hands for my height, and this makes me feel uncomfortable. Oh, he's just, he's not checking out your boobs, shenanigans. He's checking out your feet. <laughs> okay. it's gonna... When aliens or insects lay eggs inside you and you carry the eggs. You're into that. Oh, this is very interesting. Yes. She just said she's into egg laying. When aliens have sex, they lay eggs inside your body. That is her very specific kink. Has anybody, has anybody heard of this? Because that is not my flavor of ice cream. And I much rather think she's a furry. So they're laying eggs in you. Yes. There's a dildo for it. You buy the dildo and then you buy the yes. eggs. Yes. The eggs in the fridge. Oh, they got the eggs. Now you can understand why I said botfly babies, the laying of the eggs. But I'll reverse this so you can hear her details. Egg is off. Yes. Do you do this by yourself or with? Yeah, I'm about to you put the eggs in the fridge. Oh, they got the eggs. Hey. They're laying eggs in When aliens or insects lay eggs inside you and you carry the eggs. You're into that. Oh, this that. is very interesting. Yeah. So they're laying eggs in you. Yes. There's a dildo for it. You buy the dildo and then you buy the egg molds. You put the eggs in the fridge. Oh, they got the eggs. Hey. And they dissolve? Yes. Do you do this by yourself or with? Yeah, I haven't found a partner that's cool with it yet. They're like, that's uh, weird. Have you tr you've tried? Yeah. If an alien ever were to lay an egg in you, yes. would you keep it? Yes. You'd keep it? Yes. Yeah. And then I would ask if they wanted to do it again. Wow. <laughs> How do we feel about this one, guys? You're on a date, you're on your fifth date, and you start getting close, you start getting intimate. And he's like, so tell me. Tell me what you like. I'll do do whatever you want. Tell me. And she's like, well, it's a little bit off-centre. It's a little bit off-centre. But just hear me out, hear me out. It's really good, trust me. I want you to put on a lizard suit, a grey spaceman suit. And I want you to take these little little pellet and I want you to fuck me and then put them inside of me like you've laid eggs in my body. That gets me hot. And you'd be sitting there just like. 
bill check check separate we're paying separately paying separately like what would be the response to that i don't understand it is that gender specific does it have to be a like do aliens have gender like how do you know or does the every all the aliens do the eggs does it have to be a girl alien boy alien does it matter alien that's 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 that takes a lot of unwrapping that one that's a, that's a mm. I have a million questions to an ninja girl. Karen, Sid. Sid, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This, all I can say is look at her shoes and you'll be able to guess. But she has a specific one, but it, her shoes give a clue. <laughs> Do you like boys? She scared you. Yeah, definitely not boys. Scared you no. Boys can have all this. You're right. You're powerful. I feel thank bad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Does that play into your kink? It most certainly does. Do you dominatrix? Mm. Partly. Partly. What would it be specifically? It would be role play. You like role play? I like role play. Ah, what's your favorite scenario? Uh, the lioness. What's the lioness's name? The lioness's name is Lioness. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a hunter, actually. How do you go in for the kill? Oh, my. Uh, how should I put this? Yeah, I put the click click on and can't get away. <laughs> Let's just say they had to put an ice pack on for about four or five hours. You know, let the muscle relax a little bit. Do you role play with your partner? Yes. Good. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. He role plays too. So he does have some kinks. But yeah, so she's she'd be like a lady that would rock up, you know, like a cat suit and maybe some ears and a little bit of face paint. And she'd be like, Oh, like that kind of thing, like a, maybe a tail that swishes around. Some black, but I could, uh, her shoes were telling me she's into dress up. This lady likes some sexy shoes. I actually thought it was maybe stomping because of the shoes or like walking, walking on men with heels on. That's what I thought. But no, she's just into role play, but particularly like being a lioness. Like, that's, that's kind of cute though. I think that's a cute one. Thank you. Hello. What's up, Derek? Sid, do you like being naked and black? Okay. Just look at it, Derek. Tell me. Tell me what you think Derek's up to. You, you, oh, if, uh, you might guess this one. This one is a little dis, little disturbing. Hint, that's, it's a little disturbing. Put it this way. Derek is a flexible guy. That's my hint. No. Hi, Oceana. Hello. No, 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 no cucks, no flashes, no, 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 because he'd, he'd be criminal. I wouldn't they? I don't think they'd have anyone like that, Mega. Oh, no, no, Does, is that a thing? Oh, God. Ooh. Yes. I think Joanna's got it. I should tell you. Well, in the summer, I ride my bike home naked from work most nights. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's legal in Seattle. I don't What's your favorite body part? Cock. Lady lithium, exactly. Not really. I'm learning the game. In general, no one else is involved in it. Okay, mm. so you're a voyeur. Auto fellatio. Auto fellatio, nice. <laughs> the name for it. Yeah, why wouldn't I? Did he? And um, Sid just goes, auto fellatio. Nice. I think he didn't know what to say. I think in his brain, he's going, Oh wow, you're weird. Um, but he came with, oh yeah, nice. No, Sid, that was that was not the right response, hun. But okay, go off. It's awkward, it's weird. I believe you. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> no, no, no. It's legal to ride your bike home naked. He rides his bike home naked in the summer, and apparently that's legal in Seattle. I, I think this is this, I think this is legal, just not legal in public. But I think you're allowed to do this in the privacy of your own home. When did you start doing that? I was like 13 or 14. What, what brought that up? Uh, you know, <laughs> what honestly, book? it was a dream out of the blue. Living the dream. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Do you think so? I don't hey, know. What's up, that, 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 good to meet you. Sid. Sid? I'm Sean. Sean. You look like you. Okay. What do we think about Sean? Sean's got some amazing curls that need some work. But other than that, um, um, what do we think? I think he works maybe for Google. Spend a lot of time but... tied up. Oh yeah, maybe not as much as I'd like, but you know. Are you like BDSM? I do but specifically. Specifically, I'm into female domination. Female. Dom I mean, that was a given. We could tell that. We could tell that about him, couldn't we? Bondage, candle. Yeah, female domination. But his explanation is a little like Freudian. 
nomination. Yes. I like women to be in charge. Specifically me. You know, I think I agree. Right, right on, man. Thank you. My idea of a first date is like, let's go out to dinner, come back home, really? clean your bathroom, and then oh uh, I hope all the soundproofed. What are you doing later? That's what <laughs> when did you find out this was your thing? I mean, pretty much all my life. Like, I grew up in a matriarchal family. For me, that sort of dynamic where, you know, I'm the submissive partner and a woman is the dominant partner, that just feels natural. Cool. That's great meeting you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Taylor. Taylor. I'm going to reveal a little something about myself. I'm sitting here checking out Sid's ankles because he's got his cuffs rolled up. I have said that before. I like me a nice ankle, and okay, that that's me. I'm I'm playing the game too. Okay. So what do we think of this lovely lady? Look at her hair. Her hair is beautiful. Nice to meet you. Um, she looks like she writes poetry and runs a coffee shop. That's what I'm thinking. I'm getting poetic justice vibes. But what do you think this lovely, gentle, soft, bohemian, b-boy looking girl's into? Night shenanigans. Good night. Bye. Yeah, I think that was a hair fetish. It's done for. Yes, I think. I don't know. I mean, I'd rather a man be able to satisfy himself than great fantasies and poop play. Slightly aggressive, okay. Aggressive or powerful? Because aggressive is, um, I feel like somebody who would like, oh, unless you want to be smacked, but yes. Um, oral, that Japanese rope tying. Oh, God. Oh, that specialist type. Yeah, where it looks looks pretty, but it was also painful and re restrictive. It's not painful, it's restrictive. All right. She's, I didn't, her, I, it's not uncommon but it's not what i thought it would be but just shows you can't tell by looking at someone she's so pretty though look at her this is gonna be weird but flatulence comes to mind yeah let's go with sucking farts out of butts <laughs> oh it's... i would be so offended if you said yeah i think you're into eating butt and sucking farts <laughs> i'd be like um no but thanks it's probably like joking oh does hitting come with that no it seems like you know ice no. cream and sprinkles I learned I do not want to be slapped. I do not like pain and I do not want to be spit on. I don't like being dirty or wet or anything. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's, that's Derek, very Sid, revealing. Could meet you Derek. What do you think? I get a creepy vibe from you. But I, feel, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that's your thing though. Like My first impression of him was gimp. I thought he, you know, ball gag, gimp, latex, lives under the bed, wants to be bossed around, that kind of thing, but it's not. It's, it's, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Arf, 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 arf. That's my hint. No. No. When did you discover your king? A couple years ago, because Tumblr's a thing. Ah, so this is some crazy shit. Does it include pain? Sometimes, yes. Would you consider it to be adorable? Yes. Ah, are you a brownie? No. <laughs> like a cousin. Is it cousins? No. <laughs> I'm a human puppy. A human puppy. Mm -hmm. So what does the puppy do? All kinds of things. It's not strictly like a sexual fetish mm -hmm. for everybody. For me, it's everything. <laughs> this helps me get into puppy space. Can I see it uh -huh. on? That's a bricklayer fetish. Do you have a bricklayer fetish? What is it? Who's, who is it? You think he's a bricklayer? Oh, is it the outfit that makes you think that? I think it's giving me cool science teacher vibes. Absolutely. Wow. Do you know any tricks? I know. I know some tricks. Yes, he, he, yes, he, he brought... Props. Perfect. Okay. Arr. 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 This is not smart. This is cool. Arr. Hello. <laughs> Sid, you want to throw me a hint? <laughs> it's a little more sensual, I guess, as opposed to like what sex. Is it wet? Uh, yeah, it's, it is wet. Oh, okay. Oh, this one. This one is not for me at all, but I get it. This one I understand because it's sensory, but what do you think? Get that wolf or banana. He's a puppy. He's cute. He's not a wolf. Yes, he needs all the good. He needs all the good boys. All the good boys. Goth girls, can of wax. You can't with a furry. I don't know why, but on my shorts feeds, I get this person that uploads that's a furry that's like doing all these everyday things and they're in parks and stuff. I'm like, how did this get on my feed? And now I'm thinking it's because I looked up stuff like this. That's why. That's why. I'm now making the connection. That's why this that started popping up on my feed. 
No, blood play. Is that even a thing? Blood play, butt stuff. I mean, is butt stuff a kink though? I thought, isn't that just like, I'm not saying for me, but isn't that, that's more mainstream in our days, isn't it? Hi, Kelly. Hello. Kelly, I haven't forgotten to put the stuff on the, the video playing once. I haven't forgotten one time today. Are you proud of me? Wet is wet. How wet are we talking? Like damp. <laughs> it makes me think your kink is. Oh really yes, I've no. seen those. My kink today. is being licked. Being licked. Being licked by people. Yes. Uh, yeah, by people. And when I'm like, oh I have god, these, like full body. Sid's, Sid's getting into the vibe of this. It's like I feel like I needed to qualify that by being licked by a human. Um, I think the alien may have thrown him off, and the pup may have thrown him off. But, yes, he likes human adult women of consenting age to lick him, I'm sure. Yes. Or it could be. I don't know if he qualifies it as women, but it's human, consenting humans. Convulsions. Whoa. Like, I mean, it's only really licking that does that. How many licks does it take? Uh, it takes one single lick. One single but... lick. Whoa. Yeah, I'm good. No, like, that's, just, that's just a lot for me. Yeah, good call. Um, whoever that producer is that said that to Sid, it's like, this man is aroused by being licked on the wrist. Um, that's basically sexual contact. Thank you for the offer, but no, thank you. <laughs> I, I wasn't ready. Yeah. Cool. Oh, thank you. you. That was the last yeah. one. Thank you. you think so? Yeah. 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 I guess I answered it that way because I defined kinks as like something specifically you're like, I got to do that to get off or nothing else works. But I guess if we look at it that way, yeah, I've got plenty. I think everyone. He looks like a baseball referee. This outfit's giving me foul ball. That's what's giving me. So that was a fun game. That's finished now. We're done. We're done. You guys did so good and we learned some stuff. We know some more stuff about each other. Fantastic. Um, And just a little bit more about the world. However, I still am not accepting of uh, Salo kink of uh, grape fantasies and poop. It's not cool. It's not cool. I'm not down with it. I'm not okay with it. Gross and it's nasty. <laughs> nasty. He's nasty. And he's nasty for more than that reason. But anyway. But those ones weren't bad. The only one that really threw me for a loop was the alien thing. I'm just like, how? Like, I would that would not have ever have like entered my brain to even think of that as a sexy time thing. Like, just not even. Like, that's most that would be some people's like nightmare, not fantasy, but okay. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. We'll get rid of that one. We'll get rid of that one. Okay, so now is viewer's choice. Okay, so basically we I've got a couple of retro reacts for Foodie that we can watch. Um, I've got, and these are from Just Sayin's channel. They have been clipped and edited and they'll just be fun to watch. I probably don't have to focus as hardcore on that so I can focus a bit more on you guys and interact a bit more. So I'm going to read out some of the titles um and you guys can pick okay um there is one particular one that i do want to watch more than the others but it does involve eating it's only because she's so wrecked out of her brain it's just the contrast between so booty and high up and like nut foodie is just <sighs> she was barely conscious but it was funny it was a funny one actually okay but here are the here are your options beauty beauty dating a married man with kids Beauty Beauty doesn't understand why she is bad, bad, whoop, bad for business. Repzilla and Repzion. This is basically where she was just popping off at everyone. Beauty Beauty wants to be independent. Okay. And find out Jen, ha Jen has cheese in her honorable diet tomorrow. So, that one was where she found out that Jen's passed away. Now, the reason I've picked these ones, because all of these ones were about within a month of before she met Salah. So it's very, it's not like it was ages and ages ago. This was literally foodie beauty sitting in her own skin four weeks before she started talking to Salah. Okay. This one here, I think this is the one. Yes, this is the one. This is the one that I really want to watch. But I will take your vote. Foodie Beauty doesn't want to be replaced by Heather, and that was Heather Colonna. So she got no tea. But what about Anne Boleyn? This is the one she was sitting down eating Kit Kats with her fluff, and she was off her tree. 
And then I think there was one where it was Metin. Nah, it was a different one. Oh, um, and then there was this one. Foodie Beauty is not bothered by the article of you know who. Don't compare her to SGM. Reactors lie. So which one sounds good? Which one do you want to watch? Oh, which one? You can play two minutes of my upload where they giggle from my timestamp about three minutes. Oh, let me have a look. Let me have a look at um, which video is it though, um, Panda? Let me have a look. Panda, 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 Panda Pondu. Pop straight up. Is this uh, is this the one? It's called Foodie Streaming Testifying in Court. Is that the one? For some reason, the Gen 1 is very interesting to me. Okay, the Gen 1. Number two, testifying, testifying. Okay, so what's the, the stamp? About three minutes. Okay, we'll do, we'll do this one from Panda first. I'll pull this one up. Okay. So what are we starting from 114.40? Okay. Okay, we'll pull this one. So what are we exactly looking at here? Is this just where they're like, oh, is this where they're high? 20, oh, this is when, is this, when, when was this one? Okay. Okay, make it big. Okay, okay so what, what time did you say? 114.40, okay. Oh, this is Salah's laugh, isn't it, right? Is this Salah's laugh that we're going to listen to? Everyone prepare your ears. Oh, he's wearing that horrible orange shirt that she thinks looks so freaking good on him. I'll do it a little bit earlier so we've got like a little bit of a lead up. There we go. Okay. Set the scene. Oh, 112. Okay, we'll go back a bit. 112. So set the scene for us, Panda. Okay. 112.40. Okay, here we go. I'll take it back a second. All right. Is that right? 112. Okay. So to pay his bills, mm -hmm. uh, she had to set a root, uh, an alarm to tell Gorlick. And then, then they're like, she's like, I showed him like, she, he used to copy me because I showed him a thumbnail. I was all proud of a foodie beauty. Mm. Like, oh my gosh. Actually, uh, if his mom know that he has a YouTube, she would spank his... <laughs> We're gonna tell your mom. We're gonna tell your mom. You grounded. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking your baseball cards away. Oh my god, too funny. Victoria's Secret boy. Isn't that ironic that she's he's making comments about oh your mum's gonna spank you when he was the one talking about stomping on women and under their boot and spitting on them and walking them like a dog. And here he is trying to make comments about somebody else in that kind of way. Oh, he's just a pig. Look at his stupid, dumb face. <laughs> she kicked that on purpose. Please, sorry. Let's move to Vancouver. I know he does sound Vancouver like a weirdo. Too expensive. The flower to buy you? Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. <laughs> green grapes hello it kind of just makes you want to like smush his face into the ground doesn't it you just want to like like you just want to mush him like mush yeah funny comments yeah so um sorry guys we are happy yeah we're happy Ark and they're fine. Yeah, right, Flo. <laughs> All right. Ugh, I can't stand look at his face anymore. Thank you, though, for Panda for finding that, uploading that, and then giving us the timestamp. Yes, that. And remember, she said that she could never marry, she could never be with somebody who had a weird laugh. Imagine if you laugh like, oh, 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 oh. that would be so embarrassing. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Look what she ended up with. Desperado. Okay. So now we are going to do the. We're doing the one. Oh, which one was it that you said you love Vancouver? I've never been to Vancouver. Vancouver, I hate this. I know I hate it too. 
what was the one the one with the one with I can't remember oh thanks Kelly I did um ghost trick I put it on and I left it for a couple of hours and the color is holding so much better I've, it, I've noticed that it's not washing out okay what was it um they did seem nice you're right I did that they did it, like it's weird for us but it's normal for them what faith yeah fully engaged now what did we say was the video that you guys wanted to watch I can't remember now number two which was the the gen one the gen one okay uh where is that one is that that one I think that's that is that that one I must be this one Oh, this one. Okay. So this one, I think this is the one. Yes, yeah, she eats cheese in honor of Jen. Okay. So we're going to watch that one. All right. So present. Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. Foodie Beauty is not bothered by the article of You Know Who. I can't remember what the article was about, but she was bent out of shape about it. Um, don't care, pair here to SGM where they basically look like they are brother and sister or brother, husband, wife, or whatever it's called, uncle, uncle, dad, brother, whatever. Okay. We ready? Go. I hate people. Do you think I'm a hustler? Just put on very tight pants if you want to make a muffin top. I put my boobs on the table, put my boobs on the Oh, she's very quiet. Can you hear it? Let me turn it up. Okay, so that article, what was with that article? I don't care. Can you hear it? Is that better? Some I'll guy with 700 followers spoke about matter too. I'll turn me down. Who was it? I didn't see that. Was it a rep I don't think I had anybody really big speak about me. I'm not a big YouTuber. Like in the grand scheme of things, my channel's like fucking dead. I've had the same amount of subscribers. I think I'm losing subscribers on a daily basis. Don't worry, girl. Don't worry, girl. You have a massive upshoot at the very end of 2024. And by sheer brilliance, you get over that 100K. You earned it with through hard work and consistency. With YouTube, it's very hard to get your channel to bloom again. Oh, but you managed it. Skinny's here. Everyone say hi, Skinny. Thank you for your... Four months membership. Woo, 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 woo. What are you doing awake? Shouldn't you be asleep? So you should be sleeping. No one cares. The pot pie from St. Gilbert's was not as good as. Oh, Connors I can't turn her up anymore. The Connors one has a flaky buttery crust. I'm, I'll try to be quiet. Charlotte, I'm moving. We're not going to be living in the villa anymore. Can I turn it up a bit more? What are you doing for the long weekend? Fuck all, you're looking at it. That always seems to be low. I can't I'll get it any louder. Now, I canceled. I forgot about. Remember that one guy was supposed to meet? Is that better? I just That's basically it. canceled like all plans with men. I just have to focus on myself before Halloween. I know. Yes, I should be packing. I don't know where to start. Cancel HelloFresh. No. How do we start packing? How do you guys start packing? My my the, the, when I need to pack, this is how I start. I go and I buy a whole bunch of big boxes and a couple of small boxes, masking tape and a couple of colored Nikos because I have a color coded system where I'll pack and then I'll write the room in a certain color, and then that way I can identify it easier. And then I put like on each surface of the box I'll put like an x for green and then I write down lounge room green and then I'll say it should be six boxes seven boxes eight boxes you know that kind of situation um and you start and one drawer at a time one room at a time one cupboard at a time and you just work through you don't try and conquer everything in one day you just do a section and then a section and then a section and you try and clear a room out then you clean it and then you move on to the next one that's how I usually like to do it. In the kitchen, you save till last because you're always in and out of there. No, we're bringing the subscription to my new place. 
No, I'm not ODC. I look. Address the article. There's a reason. It's because I have a scattered brain. I'm not naturally organized. So I over organize because I stress and I've got anxiety. So I need things to be organized and I'm vision, vision impaired. So when I lose things, it's very difficult for me. So yeah, I, I, I'm not OD, OCD about a lot of things, but packing, I hate and I need to be able to find my stuff because I freak out if I can't. That's why it's important for me to like be so organized when I pack. And my biggest fear is not having the place ready in time for inspection. That's another big fear for me. So I'll start packing. As soon as I know I have to move out, I start packing that day because I can't leave it to the last minute because I worry and stress that it won't be done in time because I am a natural procrastinator and I know myself. What article? They called you more famous than that or what article? Are you talking about the one that all reaction channels are like trying to melt? Mm. <laughs> that was, you're mixing two dudes. And Tony's, I'll go see if I can find him. All right. I don't want to disturb him, but if he's awake, I'll go grab him. If he's sleeping, I'll leave him where he is. I'll just leave you with auntie. I'll leave you with auntie Chantal. Okay. Be good. Don't hit each other. Keep your hands to yourself. Together, VI in. <laughs> Packing for moving, Reginald. Well, what about when you don't change your address, the new tenants get the meals? That's true. Find a place to live, get your house in order, then a boyfriend. Yeah. That's what I got to do. So I just put my fucking YouTube channel on my dating sites. And for anyone. YouTube channel on my dating site. Fucking... YouTube channel on my dating sites and for anyone who wants so I just put my fucking YouTube channel on my dating sites and for anyone who wants to follow me at least I'll get some new subscribers I guess a group of YouTubers say the platform's flawed copyright system is putting them at risk of harassment and doxing by a creator with a history of violent threats that's our so what did these people do that's the article so what did these people do these this group of smaller reaction channels went to the media and like hounded any media outlet they could find who will take their article, write an article for them. What's the big deal here? Oh. Don't use boxes to move, just use bags. Jacqueline, usually I use those reusable bags. If I could smack any creator, I wouldn't smack anyone. Not real shammy, a chef at Chef's who cooks occasionally. They put high corn chowder. They put. You're so smug. When did anyone cover an article about you? I okay, so he is currently outside with his dad. Didn't want to come inside. They're hanging. They're just walking around the yard. They're just doing their thing. I tried to pick him up, and he was like, "Nah." So if he doesn't come straight to me, that means he's not interested. He's just happy hanging with dad. He's perfectly okay. I'll, sh I'll film him a little bit tomorrow and post it on my community post for you. Put in a link or something. I'll do a little video. I'll do a buddy video tomorrow. Just a quick short one so you can see that he's okay. I did try, Antonis. I did try. Actually, yes, they did. The article's not even about me. They say, they say Oh, the name context. Works. Sorry, I didn't give you any context. This is from... Oh, my glasses. I took them off. Um, this one is from, where is it? Where is it? Where's the more button? Oh, is it? here we go. Here. It is from the September 3rd. So it's literally exactly a month before we started hearing about Salah. And so that's literally two day, a month before she was engaged. She got engaged within two days. So this is her. This is the way she was acting to a month before she met Salah. So their morals and their belief system and the Muslim faith and wearing a hijab and all that stuff was not even like even thought about or talked about. Oh, well, she talked about wearing a hijab just to cover up because she wants her head to be warm and she likes the way it looks and it covers stuff up. But um, it was just a, a fleeting thought at that time. I won't. I'm not sticking up for him. Believe me, when it comes to him, I'm on your side. The article is junk. It's just like... From what I understand, it just doesn't really touch on any of the important oh. shit, you know? You're just trying to, like, Oh, my God, that sounds so like... cool. I love New Orleans. Oh, no. I've, Fatty, I've been to New Orleans. I went there in 2019. 
um, I went with my best friend. We did a tour. We went to the, um, we went past the house of that Mary La Trois or whatever her name is, that crazy lady that did the thing to the people and the blood and the bait and all the stuff. And we went to the cemetery. I didn't get to have the beignets, but I wanted to. We went and had um, like oysters and we had some seafood and we had the hurricanes and it was great. And we met a guy who was on crack with a rooster. And yeah, it was, I loved New Orleans. It was so fun. We had so much fun. I don't want to dog people's efforts to, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about everything. Like everyone involved in this is channels technically violated terms of services. Every fucking person. And yes, even the fucking leech stream sniping my shit right now. You know who you are, Mr. I have a job and a fulfilling life and yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. So, I mean, like, everybody, everybody has broken. Yeah, like, hi, Sherry. Yeah, Poetic. I thought it would mention something more serious than that. Fucking YouTube, cop a couple of uh, small channels are claiming to be threatened by being doxxed for, for their count copyright shit. Like, whatever. Edging bees <laughs> is more important. But, again, I mean, it's not my fucking dog fight. I don't care anymore. I just, I'm tired of everybody on this fucking platform. It's an article you would see in the magazine in the grocery aisle. <laughs> like, nobody even knows who we are. It took one article to finally knock Shani off YouTube. Really? Oh, okay. Well. Oh. I, don't know. I forgot to mention, I don't know how Chantal does this makeup. This took me ages to do, and it took me forever to get my villain arch going on. I didn't get them quite high enough, but... This is not quick and easy. This took hella blending. I had to put so much white shadow on to make it show up. I don't know. So I am honest, honestly, after putting makeup on like the style that she did the other day, there is no way she is putting this makeup on and then going and doing prayers afterwards. This is after prayer makeup only because to wash this shit off and then to just put it on again, this is hella hard to get off. So she's either not washing it off ever or she's not doing prayers and she's not washing her face because this this is going to take me a good soaking. Oh, who was I talking to the other day? Because um, I did my Get Ready With Me uh, video and I was saying about my makeup, my eye makeup, that's always like got to take it off. I did go and buy a brand new micellar water. I usually don't use one because I find that they strip my skin a little bit and my skin gets very dry, not dry, but tight around my eyes. So I bought a new one. I think I bought the Biore one. No, not the Biore one. It's it's a different, it's a brand I've not tried before, but it's one of those ones you've got to shake it up because it separates. It's got the oil on the bottom and the, I think it's like an astringent on top. You mix it up, it goes milky. And I found it was really, really good. It was, it had the slippage that I wanted. So thank you for the motivation to try a new um, makeup remover. I went and bought myself one. What to say? I don't know what to say. Somebody with 700. Oh, Repsion? I heard Repsion, mate. Look, I'm not defending him. I'm not like, I think this is just like bigger than me now, you know? Lindsay, hi, Lena. I'm going to make strawberry muffins, but I need you to I thought I thought Foodie was a parody channel. I've said this before. I thought she was a parody channel when I first started watching her. I thought she was a character that was exaggerated to be funny and ironical. And then I realized that she this this is who she was and I was like, "Holy shit, she's awful." You guys to look up a recipe for me. I have flour, baking powder. Hi, Whiplash. Hello. Oil, milk. Anyway, I'm going to see a place on Monday. I'm trying to Oh, see see. and what the place was. You know what the place was? The place was the mansion. This is this is the mansion arc. This is the peanut salsa time. This all of that happened. This is why Canada was so much more exciting than Kuwait. We actually had iconic things happening. Kuwait's just such a fizz. It's such it is the womp, womp, womp of her channel. It is like womp, womp, womp. It's a no, no bueno. Secret so that I don't fucking dox my new location. I'm trying to keep some sense of privacy, but I'm moving to Cornwall. Oh, I don't know. Hi, Lynn. I'm moving either Montreal, Cornwall, outskirts of Cornwall or Ottawa, or Ottawa, or the surrounding areas in between all of these. Rockland, Hawkesbury, anywhere. It could be anywhere in these areas. I know. That's why I'm going to give it away. Hang on, guys. Hold on. Because it's. 
I'm just fucking bad with that, but it's, it's not for sure either. Like I have some, I'm going to look at a place that I really want to rent. I really want to rent because I'm not about to buy a house. Like I'm not going to, don't go to Montreal. <laughs> what the fuck? Whenever you told me about that, I went and looked and I was like, oh yes. Her bangs look like the same as her bottom teeth when she's talking. So I'm just like, who is this woman? Oh, it's okay. It's so funny. I'm not making fun of her looks, but. Or maybe that was making fun of all your bugs before you move. I'm not cleaning. Sorry, guys. I locked my husband out of the house. I locked the, back, the sliding door and he was stuck outside. I mean, they're going to replace the carpet anyway, so. I'm just going to make sure everything's out. No trash left behind. Anything. Now, I look, Samson, I think that Chantal has not done Kuwait a, a, a service. Now, because it's an Islamic country or it has a high Islamic population, it doesn't have an old nightlife and it doesn't have certain like entertainment centres that we would be used to. But I don't think that they have shown the beauty of the desert or shown us the nice places to go in Kuwait because it's got a lot of nice, like, Maybe to really enjoy Kuwait, you've got to have money. And these two do not have money. I don't think she has shown Kuwait off to us in the best light. On in all honesty, she's not the best tool guide. <laughs> oh, Estonia. <laughs> Court chowder, I know. Yeah, she does. She just You found a place. All she cares about Lock Dog is what do, what food do they serve? What's the culture? Her idea of culture is food. The food is the culture. It's not the people. It's not the the customs. It's not the dress. It's not the way of life. It's not, you know, the things that are specific to the day to day. It's just what they eat. That's the culture. Not necessarily. No. Did I read about Nader in the paper? Okay, I don't want to hear about this article. I just want to hear, I want to get to the cheese. Oh my God, we should make a Goral content house. <laughs> oh, this is an idea. I don't think I could stand living with her. I don't think we could stand each other. I don't think so. What's her astrological sign? Wasn't Estonia where um, the character out of Encino Man, isn't that where they said he came from? He come from Estonia because he's from the Stone Age. The smells. Stop it. We smell nice. I smell like lush. I wash my fupa. Ew. Capricorn. I don't know anything about them. Kids can go live with Buster. Okay, so that makes me think that, like, oh, I wash my fupa. Does your fupa emanate a smell? Because I feel like you are saying that that is the smelliest party of your body and it requires an extra, like, douching. Like, I wouldn't say any part of my body stinks more than anywhere else. Like, it all requires a washing. Moving with Shannon. I'm moving. I'm moving like. You may want to tell Pizzi's now. I'm like, sorry, I'm itchy. I don't even know what body part this is. Yes. No, yes. I'm not. A lot of people do do Vegemite right. Have you ever seen an Australian pick up a teaspoon and grab a scoop of it and put it in their mouth? Have you ever seen us do that? So I'm curious why other people think that's how you eat it because it's not how you eat it. You take. Toasted bread, medium toasted bread, white bread preferably. Some really good butter. I recommend the Western Star brand of butter or the Devondale butter. Um, salted, not unsalted because you need the salty. Oh, no, you could use unsalted because veggie might salty, but I like salty butter with the strawberry jam. That's how you got to do it. And then you take probably as much veggie might as what my fingernail is or the end of your tip of your finger, just like the top, a quarter of a teaspoon and you smear it over the warm bread and then you munch down on it. You don't eat it like Nutella. That's not how you have veggie might. It tastes gross. It's very, 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 very strong flavoured. Did his hack, this hack article mention the amount of revenue? Just a little bit with butter. Sniped. That's correct. Other YouTubers get sniped. Oh, veggie might is so yum. It's so true, Moonlight. My husband uses that. Shani's living on ketchup. My husband sandwich. likes the Nutalex butter. He likes the he does have a different butter. He he got it from Costco. It's about that big. He's he's been working on it for months. I prefer actual proper butter. 
I don't eat margarine anymore. I'm just like, if I'm going to have something like that on my bread, I'm going to have something that tastes good with other things. So I just have Devondale butter or the Western Star butter. The Western Star spreads better. Which is after blowing all of Rob's money on super chats. Yeah, buy. like Marmite. <laughs> they think they sent me like It is a little bit. My coffee first. Like Marmite is very savory and salty. That's why you don't need much. It has an umami flavor, basically. It's the offset from the fermentation process. So it is actually a waste product that's been repackaged. Um, you can use it to make um, gravy. It's got like that kind of deep savory kind of flavor, a bit of flour, a bit of butter, a bit of drippings, a bit of Vegemite, a bit of water, mix it together that's your gravy um but it is a very savory kind of flavor a little goes a long way yeah it's called mar marmite isn't it marmite tastes a bit different to vegemite five. though i'll give you five that's even a lot my budget is 2700 margarine's just like fake butter it's a cheaper faker version it doesn't taste as nice it doesn't have the same it's like synthetic um, I think oh, margarine's okay, but butter just has a nicer flavor to it. It's just creamy and I don't know. It's just nice. I don't want to cook anything in my fucking deplorable fucking kitchen. It's made of yeast. It's a yeast paste. Let's look it up. What is Vegemite made of? Ooh, I hit the wrong button there. I need to get my uh, speech to text going on my computer. What is Vegemite made of? Other people have Googled this. It's made of yeast e extract. Uh, it is the yeast, a yeast extract that's been left over made from the brew brewing of beer. Salt is the other ingredient. Malt extract is sometimes used in Vegemite. It is made from the malt left over from brewing beer. Vegetable coloring and sugar. That's what it's made of. It's basically beer spread. That's what it is. Don't invite Nadia to soccer. Should I drink that whole bottle of wine? Bye, Oceana. Bye. Just put on very tight pants if you want to make a muffin top. I put my boobs on the table. Put my boobs on. <laughs> Ew. Don't do that. Gross. You've got to eat off that table. Did Her face is way slimmer, but is she's wearing... Insider? In my no. Oh, I like how you spell that. We can look. If she uses filters all the time, if her face is looking slimmer here and using filters, and she's using filters in Islam and in Islam in Kuwait, and her face looks much fatter, it's kind of like it's it should be comparable, right? She, her face looks way smaller here than in Kuwait. She's put on a whole bunch of weight. Like, so her body is just crying out. But, yeah, she looks happy here. I know she's high, but she looks way happier than here than in Kuwait. I know she says she's wickedly happy, but she doesn't look like a happy person in Kuwait. Gabby Hanna had a guy come into her home. Never. He saying he needed to. Never, ever, ever put a teaspoon of Vegemite in your mouth. It actually will make your mouth feel like it's kind of burnt. Like, it's very... It's burning, but not hot. It's just too concentrated. It's just too too much of a – and if you have, like, a big blob of it, it will make you go – it's not tart, it's not sour, it's just strong. It's very, very strong. The bathroom. Aw. Oh. Make the muffins or else I'm getting a recipe for chicken stew. <laughs> Business Insider? Okay, I'm going to make them. i got to find a pot. I know. You can sort of see cheekbones. You can't see them anymore. It's tangy. It is tangy. Article? I don't care. She cares. <laughs> and mm. Furthermore, I think that she's really self conscious about her hair because I always thought the hijab biddling was a hijab thing. But she's done this all, she's always done this with the beanies. Why wasn't it as, anno as annoying? Because she's, it, it seems to be a habit that she's got. She's always pulling. Pulling at it like she's not really comfortable with the thing on her head, but she insists on wearing it. Can we just put together every fucking crappy reaction channel name all into one? How about like, um, see, I don't really like beer, I don't drink a lot of beer. Um, 
I think that that sweet beer is probably what we would call a shandy here, which is part beer, part lemonade. It's something that the ladies at the bowls club would normally have, the warm bowls club, that have a shandy. Um, it is an offshoot. So it's basically like it's yeast. It's just yeast, but it's not like the yeast that you make your bread with. It's a bit different. It's it's probably ground up, spun, and made. it's very silky. It's almost like it's very, very, very smooth. Um, it's got like the consistency of um, almost like it, it does have the consistency of like butter. It's that kind of thickness, you know, but it holds its shape. It's very strange. I could always do, I should, I've said this before, I should do Vegemite on toast so you can see what it looks like and how to do it properly. Louise's irate with Alex. And has MS and it's not. It's not made of ants. Imperfect. And <laughs> I don't know. They all have these stupid. They either have like a name about their like what like their illness or about something they're flawed about and want to change. Mm. But they're like the most judgmental people. Like they all have these YouTube channels with like something in their name about what, something they want to change about themselves, and they're the ones who are the most fucking hateful. Did you ever notice that? I don't want to change my doe-eyed cookie. I don't want to change it about myself. Who, who? Does French fried girl want to change the French fryiness about herself? Perfect. She's talking about perfectly imperfect. That's who she's talking about. This one will start and be like, all right, this is my YouTube name and it is that because of my disease and this is what my disease, blah, blah, blah. All right. And so now we're going to talk about this fucking idiot and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I saw a clip where she was sitting at the bench. This is even before she was, I don't even think she was dating anybody at that time. She's like, I think I'm, she looks at Pete to go, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to step in see jabs. And he's like, why? And she's like, hey, you know, they just, they just cover you up a lot. And I just think I start wearing them. And then she turns and goes, do you think I shouldn't because I'm not Muslim? And he's like, well, no, I don't think you should because you're not Muslim. She goes, oh, well, I guess I'm Muslim then. I I watched that a couple of days ago. So she's very flippant about it, you know. So that's why people say she's fake because she's always banded this idea around. She just likes the idea of the covering. It's not a deep spiritual thing. It's just, it's just a trend or an idea or it's it's got as much staying power as when she was gay for a month. Well, what is wrong with people? Oh, and if you can uh, go on to my... Um my uh you know or i love whatever fucking one panel loves to do this they'll be like so uh she's totally fucking ridiculous i swear to god she's so disgusting like ew yeah like she's really gross and then <gasps> at the end eat a dick foodie she was she was making fun of um sarah there i hate it when she does that voice because it doesn't even sound like sarah sarah doesn't sound like she smoked Sarah just sounds mellow. Someone will be like, oh, yeah, and here's my GoFundMe. Uh, I need it for my fucking treatments. Like. That person that she was talking about, and I'm not going to say their name, had brain cancer. We saw the pictures. That person was legit sick. Stop. Worst in a monologue ever. Hi, Morticia. That's what I heard, Punk. Yes, yeah, same. You know what? It'll probably be like, I don't know how that will affect him. How do you think that will, will affect him, his ego, probably? Mm -hmm. It can either affect it really badly. It'll probably both stroke his ego and batter his ego. They cope and see, though, the most nonsensical topics. I say a lot of reaction channels actually give you advice. Some have become too nasty, no name. Yeah. <clears throat> well, and, why do, and why do you think people end up being nasty? Why? Because she's so easy to get down to that level with. And it's fun to get down to that level with her. Because she's somebody who I, I feel like she dishes it, so we dish it. It's back and forth. And she's not, and honestly, for me, I don't respect her one little ounce. If I had, even if I don't like someone, if I respect them, I'm not going to do it. Or if they're more trouble than it's worth, I won't get into it. But foodie's just, she's literally just one of the worst people I've ever come across. Like in every way, I just, I can't find anything redeeming about, I can't see the good in her. I can't see it. 
I just, she has no redeeming qualities that I have found. There's nothing there. I mean, you could even say, oh, she loves cats. Yeah, but she she doesn't love cats. She's an animal abuser. Well, she's, you know, she she's nice to kids. She hates kids. Well, she's a great cook. Well, no, she's fucking not. She's respectful. She's interested in the world. Well, she's none of those things. She doesn't have any good qualities. And I don't respect her, so that's why I feel like I can talk shit. And talking shit's part of YouTube, right? A lot of their advice is stupid. <laughs> I know people just usually they what do they call know, it? A lot, yeah. What the, they Kaiser Cersei, so Soze, Kaiser Soze. They just look around the room and think it's like, oh, BTS poster, that's my channel name, you know? Oh, stand up Mike, that's my YouTube name. Some guy with 700 k followers spoke about matter too. Who was it? I didn't see that. Was it a uh, reptile? I don't think I had anybody really big speak about me. I'm not a big YouTuber. Miriam Suzanne, this this is this has always been my contention. It's like she doesn't do a lot of the things that you would think a newly reverted Muslim would do, or just the most basic things that we know about Muslims that they do. You know, the five days of prayer, the modest dressing. The, you know, the way they talk about people, that like the basic everyday things that we know about Muslims, like their compassion, their generosity, you know, the way they're welcoming to everyone, they're nice to, you know, they try to be nice to everyone, you know, everyone's a friend, everyone's part of the family. The only thing that she holds on to that a part of that religion was the halal, but she's pretty flexible with that. She definitely was in Thailand. But the one thing that she is so hardcore holding on to Nothing else, everything else can get fucked is that hijab, the spanks, the head wrap. That is the one thing that she will not let go of. But everything else is open to interpretation. She is not required by law. She is not required by the culture. She's not required by custom to wear something on her head. It is simply her choice because she's Muslim and she wore it before she was a Muslim. So it is simply her vanity, her insecurity, and her not giving a shit about the importance of religion for other people who genuinely wish they had the ability to either wear it or not wear it. She thought, She's like, no, nah, I'm wearing it. I'm covering up the chins. I'm covering up the balls. No one is going to pull this hijab off my body. No one, not a soul. She hangs on to that with a death grip, but nothing. No, talking shit about people, ah, whatever. Um, I'm learning. I'm reverting. We'll give you a hijab a break. You wouldn't fiddle with it 20 times in a day or in a, in a video. If if the hijab is uncomfortable, take it off. You're not required to wear it. If it's a pain in the butt, just take it off. But no, 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 no. She'll hang on to it. Like in the grand scheme of things, my channel's like fucking dead. I have had the same amount of subscribers. I think I'm losing subscribers on a daily basis. Samson, I, I think she does and I think she doesn't. I honestly think she thinks she's really pretty and that is subjective. That is subjective. Some people may look at her and think she's absolutely stunning and beautiful and gorgeous. And then other people would look at her and think she looks like the underside of a rhino's ass. I personally don't think she's a pretty person. I really don't. I, I She's not my kind. Look, she's not the kind of female I'm attracted to. If I was to be to describe my perfect female body that, you know, like it'd be like, oh, that's a beautiful lady. She is definitely not it. And it's not even about weight. It's just her face and her demeanor and everything about her is just law to me. But she, I think she thinks she's on the top. She's like noticeably pretty. Like she's, she's, if she walked into a room, you would notice how gorgeous she is. That, that I think she thinks about that. Do I think she thinks she's in the top 90% of YouTube? No, but I think she thinks she's an outstanding beauty. Yeah, I do. You know, I feel like, I don't know. And with YouTube, it's Bright very hard to get the channel to bloom again. Yeah, exactly. Like you're gonna Rhino's like ass, okay. Someone like FFG, but, um, I don't know, Moonlight. He might get a lot more no notoriety because he's fucking, he might get a lot more women who want to follow him too. He's weird. I don't know why women are attracted to him and I can't tell you why because he fucking mm -hmm. lies. You fall in love with him at his fucking... It is one, it is one thing and that is a very personal 
decision and you don't have to do it if you don't want to, depending on where you live. But she's oh, like, oh, she was all gung ho. She couldn't wait. She couldn't wait to wear one. Been wise, you know. Oh God, Jessica. Yeah. But Jessica, do you, this is this is the, my thought pattern. Is she the way that she is because of the way she looks? If you know what I mean, is she so hyper nasty and bitchy and rude because she's so insecure? Because she knows. She is not what's considered classically beautiful. She is not, she isn't typically looked at by 95% of the population of men because she's, she claims to be a heterosexual now. Is that because she knows that in a group of five women, she's probably the biggest one and she's probably going to get the least attention? You know what I mean? From the majority of men. And I'm not saying that's for all. I'm just saying 5% of the population are attracted to women that are considered super, super morbidly obese. And if you put her in a room of super morbidly obese women and men that are attracted to super morbidly obese women, she would still probably be overlooked by the prettier girls in the room because she doesn't really stand out even against other pretty women. You know what I mean? Like she's not spectacular to look at. But, I mean, just she's just, I don't know. There's just there's just something about her, just something about her. Mm. She's insecure. She's just very insecure. We will never leave you. Oh, but she does think she's a very good singer. Yeah, she does. Girl, you literally were attracted to him, Helen. I don't know. Like at first, I wasn't attracted to him. Applebee's, your picture. I love it. I never think mm. Sherry. Oh, for, uh, you got I French ancestry or Canadian? On Plenty of Fish, I was fucking attracted to him, sorta. I found him different looking. Like I never was with anybody like that looked like that. It was different looking. And then I thought he looked just looked like serious, but he kind of looked mean. Like he never. Dohiki, you only, you look, look where her confidence has got her. her. She's got false confidence. She doesn't have confidence. She's delusional and insecure. And she parades it around like it's confidence. A confident woman will walk up to the hottest guy in the bar and hit on that guy. And if he's into confident women, he'll be all about it, regardless of size. Like confidence just comes from the I don't give a shit sort of thing. Like if that, she gets rejected by that hotter guy, she's not going to go home and cry herself into a pillow and eat a bag full of cookies. She's going to be like, oh, well, the next hot guy is going to be the one. You know what I mean? Like she's just her confidence comes from she, you know, that same room of super morbidly obese women that are attractive and there are men that are like into those women. She will literally fill up a room with the ugliest losers in a room and she'll be like, I could get any one of these guys. It's like, yeah, because they are ugly losers. They are the bottom of the barrel. But she could have her pick of them. You know what I mean? She goes for the lowest denominator. You know what I mean? Because she knows she would be a plum prize for them because they don't get attention. She goes for men like herself. She stays on her level. Mm. Never smiled in his pictures. He was always like super intense. Like, oh, Dominic, I'm sure you're know? still cute. So then when I met him, I found him to be super thin. I have found, I have honestly found that people find the weirdest things about us adorable that we would never even think. My husband told me, he goes, you look so freaking adorable first thing in the morning. I'm like, my face is mushy. I'm all wrinkly. My hair's everywhere. He goes, yeah, but you look adorable. Like, you just look really vulnerable and cute and tiny and lovely. Like, he just thinks I'm really cute. And I'm just like, I think I look hideous, sorry. But he thinks that's cute. It's the no makeup, I'm easy and breezy, carefree sort of look, you know? And then when I'm all dressed up, he'll be like, oh, you look really nice too. You look all put together. But he finds me most adorable when I'm just woken up now to bed and just like, oh. And then other people are like, I really like it when she wears jeans or I really like it when she wears heels or I really like it when her hair's up or I really like it when her hair's down. Like the things that we don't think about, they notice. So what you think is like, oh, that's not very cute of me. That may that quality may be exactly what somebody finds the most attractive about you that you find the least attractive. You know what I mean? Hell, there's women out there that want aliens to lay eggs in them. I'm sure, Dohiki, you could find somebody who likes you. I mean, it's not exactly the same thing, but they're 
different strokes for different folks. You know what I mean? And you are not an, an alien, a leg alien, alien. What I'm saying is there are different folks with different flavors, you know? And, uh, yes, oh, wow. thank you, Melina. And when I pulled my car and he was waiting outside and he, he went like this to me. <laughs> and then I don't know, he like grew on me because he would, I don't know, he was lying to me about like, I don't know. No, he, at first I think he was just like. He might have been just like trying to like have a conversation with you or trying to think maybe she feels self-conscious about her scar. I want her to like, like, oh, it looks cute. Like it's, it, it is a cute. It's not ugly or terrifying or scary. It's cute. Like he told me a story and shit and I, he just grew on me. <laughs> I think you're right. You should react to the videos of what I think she dates men that approach her. She doesn't approach men. She all of her stories are boys picking her, like BB hit on her. Nada looked for her. Sala approached her. She doesn't go after the guys that she wants because she can't get them. She only dates and goes with guys that have like gone up have shown interest in her first and then they grow on her or she's like yeah he's not too nasty i can i can i can roll with it you know she she doesn't approach men because she can't get the ones that she's really attracted to she just stalks them and hides behind their lounges and chests of drawers and stuff and jumps out at them in surprise when you first started seeing him and you will be shocked at how you didn't want him but still went to his house because nick didn't want to see you that day oh my god you think this is where he hooked me that day Fuck Nick, I'm suing you. I'm kidding. He never wanted to show the fence posts. Because mm -hmm. It's true though. Like it's true. I always wondered why he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Grew on you like black mold. Uh huh. Like a bad rash. Yeah. And just like, oh, I know about rashes. He did. And then I guess it just became like we became really close. So maybe that's like the trauma bonding thing. Like we went through a lot of fucking shit together, but it was shit he caused. Like every, every single one of our problems were caused by him and he cannot even deny it. But he will. Oh, that is the narkiest thing. She's such an arc. Did you hear what she just said? By him and he cannot even deny it. But he will. Her problem. Shit he caused. Like every every single one of our problems were caused by him and he cannot even deny it but he will so he could probably say the exact same thing about her every problem we had was when she talked about me and blah 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 blah, blah. like she's just she is the she's the narkiest narc like she's ugh. most reasonable adults that are in relationships like you know i've got my faults and there are things that i shouldn't have done and maybe i didn't handle that properly or i know that's a, that you know i've done that in the past and i've probably done it again oh no he is the cause of absolutely everything everything and that would be impossible in a relationship no one person can be the absolute problem oh oh it could but you know the dynamics of i do this behavior i accept this behavior accepting the behavior is also part of the problem or not or ignoring the behavior or rewriting the behavior that is also part of the problem so even if you're not actively being nasty you are also participating in the problem like ugh. the shit he put us through projection huh yeah he started out normal-ish yeah meth pipe on the first day that's totally normal with that friend of his he was threatening to beat up and then <laughs> the so limit. so let's recap normal-ish um Random math pipe on the floor. Had a friend throw money at her and say, please show me your boobs. I think that story is made up. I do not think, I don't think that happened. I don't, I don't think that man paid to look at her boobs. Or well, not that she flashed him, but I don't think he offered her $50. Whoops, $50 for boobs. Um, what else? Um, we had some Coca-Cola. We had an OD. We had lots of bruises. Um, yeah. And then we had the weird obsessive stalking thing three weeks in. Yeah, started off really total, totally normal. Yep, totally normal relationship. He was a catch from day one. And she was like, fuck you. He was like, well, fuck you. 
Oh, and um, he was sleeping with the lady that was sitting on his porch. That was obviously a crackhead as well. I remember when you wanted his kids? Ew. Ew, I did, Bella Juice. I've seen that picture too. Her feet are rancid. I did want his kid, yeah. <laughs> Shit. What kind of crack was I on? Oh! <gasps> What did she just say? I've never, I can't remember hearing that before. <laughs> Shit. What kind of crack was I on? Has anybody heard? Have I missed this this whole time? She just, I'm going to play that again. I did want his kid, yeah. <laughs> Shit. What kind of crack was I on? What the F kind of crack was I on? Was that basically like a, a soft admission that she actually did smoke the crack? Is that like the slip like, oh, well, her partner doesn't have a job either. Like she's just telling on herself. What kind of crack was I on? Because I don't think somebody who doesn't smoke the, unless she's just joshing. No, I don't know. I feel like she just sort of like accidentally confessed. Crack is whack. Don't do crack, kids. Don't do it. All right. Fucking muffins. I don't feel like doing anything. I hate doing stuff. We know. <laughs> Charlotte, you don't think he realizes how insane his reality is? My impression of Dee Dee. Let's do muffins. No, I'm sure. All right. Here's, here's how we're going to find out. Subtitles, English. Okay, let's go back. I did want his kid, yeah. <laughs> Shit. What kind of crack was I on? Oh, it didn't do it. Why did it not pick that up? All right, fucking muffins. I don't feel like doing anything. I hate doing stuff. Charlotte, you don't think he realizes how insane his reality is? Why did it not pick that up? She said it loud and clear. Shit. What kind of crack was I on? No, I think she said crack. I think she said crack. I could be wrong, but I think she said crack. What do you think she said? Crack? Yeah, crack and um, meth are different though, aren't they? One's methamphetamines and one is crack cocaine. I'm so getting demonetized. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, did she just pick boogers? Right. Fucking muffins. I don't feel like doing anything. I hate doing stuff. Okay. Now, I'm done with this one now because Jen's not even been. Oh, I played the wrong one. Sorry. I did play the wrong one. I'm going to play the fluff one because I like that one. Okay. Let me go back. I just want to see her at the very, just her at the very end. This is the one I just want to see. No, that's not the one. More coffee. This is the one. It's fluffed. This is the one where she is wrecked off her brain. Is it this one? She doesn't want to be. She is ruined in this one. It's fantastic. Let's watch this one. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, context, context. This is the one after Metten. Do we all remember Metten? Metten was her boyfriend. He claimed her and then it turns out he didn't. He thought she was a nice lady but there was nothing in it. Blah, 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 blah. Metten was literally just before Sala. So this is after he's dumped her, broken up with her. She's, you know, like, blah, 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 Metten and you guys suck and yada, yada, because apparently it was our fault that he dumped her and didn't want to be with her. So Metten was literally the guy just before Sala, like weeks, weeks before Sala. And it was the same situation. Talk to him for a day or two, totally in love. He's my boyfriend coming from Cyprus. He got doxxed 
And he had voice notes and stuff like that saying, nah, she's not, she's not my girlfriend. She's not my type. She's nice, but no. And we're not in love anymore. And then this is like the day or so after. And it is much cheaper than the other stuff. What kind of mental illness is it when you just sit here and stare at stuff? I don't know. Go to a therapist. They might tell you. Or psychiatrist, psychologist. They, 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 they. Booty, booty, body chains. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. That was wrong. I admit. I'm sorry. This stuff is so good. No, he didn't. So no, natural. Really? Oh, oh my God. God. No. I Bike. There is eating in this one, guys. So just beware. Okay. But it was, it's, this is entertaining. For me, this was entertaining to watch her be mental like this. The bike guy, we think, was her supply, her guy. Um, no, Metten wasn't a guy she met on Grinder or Internet, not Grinder, God. She met on like Tinder, I think, or something like that. She was trying to get a 90 day fiance situation going. I think Metten was the first shot at the 90 day fiance, but it didn't work out. And then Sala was the backup. I like together. What is your smell? Had the... I'm a diabetic. No, I thought the smelly, I thought the smelly, I thought the smelly appendage was Kevin. I thought Kevin had the smelly ween. And Bike Guy was just a different guy. That's very important. I'm not laughing at that. I'm just laughing at something else I just thought of. I bought some spicy mortadella. Yes, this is the one to me that looks like my nipples. I got gravy Our house guy. gravy for the bike guy. Food, I think. No, that's a gravy. different guy. Like for real, if I feel like drinking gravy, that's the perfect drinking gravy. <laughs> oh my god. It wasn't like a Joanna, it wasn't like a uh what are they what's that rabies squirrel? A squirrel's scary, guys, because I, I I toss them turn between they're cute and fluffy and nice, but are you not supposed to touch them? Are they going to bite you? Are they going to climb on your face and start eating your eyeballs out? Like, what's the deal with squirrels? Give me the lowdown on squirrels because I'm curious. I think they're adorable, but are they scary? Are they scary? Get the fuck out of here, man, and leave my fruit alone. I, Yes. His zucchini smell like Wendy's. Wendy's what though? Like a Wendy's burger? I agree. You would think anybody willing to stick their appendage in a foodie beauty is not that, that they don't really care about their hygiene too much. They don't really care where it goes. You know what I mean? I feel like they're guys that would probably have sex with a vacuum cleaner if they got desperate enough, you know? I, I think if they're, will, they're just looking for somewhere Warm and moist to put it, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's a little baby one. Well, where, where is he now? I have two of these. I spent my money for nothing. I guess I can give one away. No, because no, no reason for the bees. Mortadella is like mortadella. Like for me, Devon and like those 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 loaf slices. They all it. I don't like them because they've always got these little hard bits in it. And I think the little hard bits are bits of bone, like little bone chips. And I'm like, they're literally just probably throwing every leftover bit and just making it into a slab of mush. And it's just, no. And it, Maura tells her about that big. She can't have nipples that big. I think she just says that to be provocative, but yuck. And it smells. It smells. Oh, I in two minutes. I know. I don't have any drama for you. I'm sorry. Yes, they are mice with fluffy tails. How do we feel about raccoons? If if chipmunks are mice with better outfits, what are raccoons then? Are they just cats with human hands? Is that what they are, or are they dogs? Are they more like a dog? What's a raccoon? Where do we? Where's what's our position with raccoons? Fifty percent. It's cartilage. Yes. I gotta cut this big watermelon off. I can't do it. They, they just, they just, they, 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 they scraps. Yes. I got myself a couple of pot pies from. Good, is Hubert's there such a good pies. thing as good quality? Portadella? St. Hubert's barbecue ribs. Oh, yeah. No. I oh, wine. don't Hickey. Oh, oh. It's just white. Blah. White wine. Blah. I got Blah. 10 hogos. Of course. And that's just one meal. I got ground beef. For meatloaf. More chicken. 
Because mm -hmm. I love chicken. So we know. More of his favorite strawberry Vortman brand mm -hmm. wafers. He loves those. Oh, I love wafers. Got him some Maynard's berries. Mm. Some raisins. Mm. Chocolate covered raisins. Oh, I love those. I love how chewy they are. Oh, what? Yeah. Did she nip her fingers after touching the bacon? That's These weird. Bacon, everyone. A, bacon. She was eating bacon. And this is an Alfredo kit. She was eating bacon a month, a month before she met Salah. A month. Cracker barrel. Ew, it was like chicken juice or something. Oh, stop. And I got this oh, muffin stop. tin. Um... Whenever I think Fupa, I just think of Smeg. I know Smegmas were weenuses, but I feel like there's Fupa Smegma. Like there's just that, like slugs have got, like that viscose stuff that helps them move along the ground. I just feel like this, just there's just a lining of that, and that catches fluff and crumbs and bits of, I don't know, things that get trapped in it. Like, oh. Pringles lids, chicken juice. Oh, what products? So I'm gonna make strawberry muffins. Thing. Probably. So let me just. Go they are wild way. crazy. Yes. Hey guys. So I'm gonna. Oh, like on. an opossum or a possum? What can't taste good? <laughs> the kids. I'm oh, what brown ass? Like... I've never seen the brown ass picture. I've n I've not seen the brown, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't under I just don't know how you can allow your skin to get that color. That means we can save them. Yeah, she drinks gravy, frugal. didn't you know? Frugal Samson, beauty. she drinks the gravy. That's why we gave her a barrel of it for the presents. It. She drinks it. Wash my fruit. What waste know. water? No, never. She's a eco-friendly kind of gal. Yeah, they're a bit she better. is a poor yeah. product. You're right, Tammy. Yeah, I my groceries away. Hold on, I'll she this. is. No hate. No hate. I just yes. want a beast tonight and make a little test. I got cream, onions, bacon powder, little potatoes. This is a cool thing. A mixture of lemons and limes. Oh, I got God. Some pineapple juice repeats. And um, some mini raviolis. Oh, she's making ricotta in the fold. Like Lovely. Too. Marshmallow fluff and chocolate. She does bring up the diabetes. She does. She's fully aware that she's a diabetic. And look at the face on it. Anybody want a screenshot? I'll leave it there for a minute. This is probably the fattest, grossest thing that I've ever seen her do. And she manages to get extremely high by the end of this. So she must have had some gummies or something before. And they just... Because she's eating, they must have hit because she gets out of her brain high. Like, she just loses it. Mm. I got some more. Oh, some was Arizona it the perfect angle or was the worst tea. angle? Pickled sliced beets are my favorite. But Whiplash, I think perfect angle is subjective in that moment. Was it the was it the best angle to get the view of the brown's ass? I would not say it was the perfect angle because the perfect angle would have been just out of view, so we never got to see it. It's perspective. No, silver lining. Silver lining would have been not being able to see it. But it's cheese. I love it with grapes, but I don't have any grapes. More Chef Boyardee. Dijon because oh, this I is one of my favourites. With the wine and the cream. Oh. Has anyone tried this? Cold brew coffee already made? Yes, they are totally different. Easy. Our possums are fucking adorable. Opossums are hellspawn. I'm sorry, their teeth frighten me. They're little jaggedy, they're like extra big rats. They look like the creatures in The Princess Bride. Do you remember them? Rodents of, what are they called? Rodents of unusual size. Rodus, I think that's what they're called. Rodents or rodus. That's what they look like. They look like miniature versions of those rats rat things that live in the um in um the the forest the forest of whatever i can't remember i love that movie though what's it called the impenetrable forest of doom or something so i can make my own bread and stuff containers of tomato paste 
Now, groceries are so expensive. I got a can of crab meat because I want to make crab fried rice. Are they? And a thing well, of rodents of unusual size. Yes. Or Vorsky. Oh, no, they're not. They're just garlic pickles. We have some kettle chips. These are pizza's chips. Some things to make sandwiches. Interesting side note. Dolly Parton thinks possums are actually delicious because she is from Appalachian area. She they and she came from a very poor family. They would eat the opossums, and she said they're actually quite delicious. That I like. So I have lettuce and tomato in the fridge. I bought some spicy mortadella. Yes, yes this is the one. Our possums like my do. I also got some Genoa oh. salami, and I got some salami with prosciutto. I don't like that. And oh. she's got mortadella. She's got all of all of the meats and all the fat. And she's like, hm, I don't like the salami with the prosciutto. I don't like that. Do you think she's gonna throw it away or she's not gonna eat it? You know she's gonna eat it. Just cook it up and wrap some wrap it around some of your melon or something. Put some of that prosciutto around a piece of melon and just have at it and put a bit of cottage cheese on the side. Pay 50 bucks for that at a fancy restaurant. Some pizza pops. Some. Are they? they eat, are they trash pie. eaters? I find these frozen haddock things, these frozen fish by Captain Highliner. Are they? I don't like prosciutto, by the way. Hello, Lilis. Hello. In the fire swamp, that is correct. They go pop, pop, pop. Um. Um. Are they trash eaters? Is that why we like them? Because they get rid of all of the different, like, carcasses are they kind of like froze in that sense that they'll eat the debris and the gross gross stuff that other things won't so they like and then they'll poop and it gets everything back to the earth is that why gentle crone hello by the way are very expensive it's like 14 bucks for a box of fish but i oh. find it's very flavored nicely really i didn't know that a day. Lunch. i'm being bad again i, know. I don't i I made kangaroo steaks once and I won't do it again. The smell, I couldn't handle it. It smelt weird, but I will say crocodile tastes delicious. It's kind of chick, it's like a combination of chicken, sorry, vegans, sorry, chicken and fish together. It's firmer than fish, but it's flaky like fish. So it's like a firm, flaky fish. And it, it is a, literally like a combination of chicken and fish. I got demi glace gravy for when I think, feel like having a nice glass of gravy. Like for real, if I feel like drinking gravy, that's Ooh. the perfect drinking gravy. I couldn't demi -glace. drink. Oh, I can't do frogs. I couldn't eat turtle. I don't know why, but I like Ariba more than I could eat alligator. Oh, that's the only one I could eat. Put more salt on them. Hello, Red Bull. Uh, oh. When I dance until tonight's wheelchair, I already wheelchair. I'm just waiting. Got you a pack of yeah, dogs. they are. He's like so oh, nice. there you go. They are helpful. I got some flour because I'm going to make those uh, muffins. Mm. Pete's a huge carrot cake. Australia in Queensland, you're not allowed to have ferrets. I think there's a lot of states in Australia where ferrets are actually banned. You can't have them here. I got you a carrot cake. I fucking oh. hate doing groceries. Whoa. Oh God, I'll keep it under wraps. Why are groceries so expensive? But thank you. you know how much all this cost me? I swear. Okay, why is the fluffer nutter not? Yeah, alligator. Yeah, I imagine it's the same. For fucking, like, it feels like I bought nothing. You can't do it. I won't eat like you. I want to eat dollars in grocery the month. I swear. I'm sorry, but I think of gamey food like worms. I don't know, cows and stuff and all the domestic animals, they probably got worms and stuff in them too. But, and I know they're all farmed and they've got a pasture testing, but I can't look at kangaroo meat without thinking about worms. I just can't do it. I'll just. It just freaks me out. I'm not, I don't know if I could eat deer because deer's are really – I just – my brain just compartmentalises food. Some foods are normalised and other foods are just too, like, I can't do it. And turtle meat, I just – the idea of eating turtle meat just turns my stomach. Oh, I can't do it. But I know it's, it's perfectly crazy. fine in, I like, certain get places in the world. I just like, what did I get? It. One tray of chicken. One tray of ribs. Oh, it must be meat. in New South Wales because I know you can't have them in Queensland. We're not allowed. Dear, yeah, what? What venison. Do do oh, and fish. Okay, so let me you didn't like it. Away. Okay, <laughs> Joanna wieners, didn't like the deer. Some wiener buns for pizza sauce. Yeah, I'd eat those. I'd, I'd eat bugs. Eat. What do you, do you know that? Oh, you probably know. If you love platypuses, you probably know that they um have a, the males will have a venomous 
spine on the back of their legs to fight off predators and other platypi. They have a spike on their legs that are poisonous and it can make you sick, I think. I think it make a, can make us sick as well. Because I want to make kangaroo fights. I washed my hands after I touched the chicken juice. Oh, and you did not, don't eggs. I. Still have eggs, but the thing is. I try grubs and stuff. I, I try those. want to have enough eggs to bake stuff, like mm. cook stuff with. Come you could eggs. maybe donate it. Donate I also it. also just got some celery, some mixed peppers. and. Oh, yeah. I, I'm i surprised that we don't get more things in our ceiling, or I assume we don't have things in our ceilings because we, we don't hear anything. I think at one stage we had a mouse in there, but it probably got eaten by a carpet snake because people often will get carpet snakes in the ceilings. They're totally fine. Our manhole's covered. They're not coming in the house. But, yeah, I'm surprised we don't get more. I know some people are just they will have always have, like, um, possums or they'll have what are those other little things that get in there? It's the possums and, oh, there are other little furry things. I can't remember the name of them, but it's possums and, It's not mice, but it's kind of it's like a little flurry, furry thing that always goes in the ceilings, and it's not rats. It's something else. Can't remember the name of them. But yeah, I don't. I don't think I want a possum in my roof only because they're noisy, not because they're problematic. Oh, well, they are because they eat, chew things and poop and stuff. But I don't. I don't want critters in my house. I don't. What about? Oh. Wait, thank you. Yes, thank you, cows. Because I'm gonna make. I'd be vegan too. I couldn't do it. So what's the tea? I watched my grandma, my dad's mum, dispatch a chicken once, and that was trauma. It wasn't traumatizing, but it was just yeah. It was all. It was a lot. I did not expect it. I did not. I. It was just a, an awakening that day. Yeah, very different. Is there any tea? Are you guys comparing me to this woman? Like, I seen a video. Somebody Aww. showed me a video of her. She says the N word and the K word about Jewish people. I've never. Um, I don't know if I've got footage of that. I still haven't put my, look, last, not this year, but last year I went to Australia Zoo. I still got all that footage and everything. I haven't made a little video for that. Maybe I should do that and do that for the members because I hold the koala and I touch the wombat. And I, I, I think we saw the kangaroos. I don't think we petted them or, or patted them on the day, but I think I've got footage of some of the kangaroos. Kangaroos are a dime a dozen here. You do literally see them. Not as so much where I live because I live, you know, there's a lot of traffic and streets and stuff where I am. But when I used to live in um, other towns and stuff where I've lived, we'd literally see them jumping across golf courses, um, like paddocks. You have to be careful not to hit them on the side. Like driving at night between like towns, you'd have to be careful not to hit them. A lot of the reasons we have massive bull bars on the front of our cars is because of cows and because of kangaroos. Because massive, these massive red roos and the big greys, oh, my God, they can fuck your car up. I've fucking done that in my life. I've never said the N-word. Yeah, no. I've never said No, like I don't want to watch that. Like I don't that. want to watch that. Why are you guys comparing me to someone like that? Yeah. I would never. Honestly, like it's just not in my vocabulary, no, so it doesn't slip out I think. when I'm angry at someone. No, so I, I don't have respect mm -hmm. for people who say the n word. They like are that. cute. I so held one. On the thing I paid for a fucking racist. Thank you. experience. She apologized for her past. Yo, yo, please. Like, yes, I have seen that video. That that There's... that video is mentioned to me now. I do want to give that video context. He was not saving his dog from the kangaroo the dog was actually harassing the kangaroo um and the kangaroo was defending himself and when the kangaroo started to get the best of the dog that's when the guy stepped in otherwise they were just going to let the dog go and attack the kangaroo so yeah i mean you guys have cancelled me for way less than that fucking shit you know what i mean um i made another video could be. and it's being mass reported for bullying and harassment it's kind of like a giant mousey thing. What the fuck? I've never Could ever be. said anything that bad. Shit. I've said some nasty things about fucking him and her, yeah. Yes, kangaroos yeah. just absolutely. Yeah, but it wasn't like that in Cuba. I didn't say the N-word and all that stuff in Cuba. Oh, Lord. An extortionist? Who is? 
You <laughs> relish rage? Oh, no. Oh. You know what? Yeah, mm, relish rage. Fluff. Fluff okay, kind of their hands freak me out a little bit though. Are they give me Edward Scissor hand yeah. vibes. YouTube told her reaction channels do not fall under fair use and they can be copyrighted for even one second. Are you for real? If that were true, then there would be absolutely no reaction channels on YouTube at all. So whoever told you that is a dum dum. Hmm. I'm kidding. I would feel like a fucking asshole. I don't know. That's crazy. That they like, oh, reject no, 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 no. The fuck? Australians, we do love koalas just as much as the next guy. However, however, most of us have had experiences with them. Now, koalas are very, very stinky, but it is the boys that are stinky. And why are they stinky? Well, the older the koala gets, the stinkier he gets. And why is that? To attract females to him, they smell like ammonia. They have a very strong ammonia scent. Now, koalas are a bit like pandas. They're not very good at that. They are very, they're not communal animals. They don't need to be in couples. They don't live together for very long. They're not, it's one, you know, they basically just meet up, bang, and then that's it. They split up and off they trot. So for them to get together, they need to yell loudly and smell a lot. So they are very stinky, but they are very fluffy and gorgeous. The ones that I've interacted with are used to people. However, you do not try and pick up a koala because they have very, very strong, powerful, sharp claws, and they will bite you because that's they're tired and cranky and just leave me alone. All I want to do is eat and sleep, leave me alone. But, yeah, they do bite and spit, but they're not naturally aggressive. Like a koala will not clock you and attack you. It will bite and scratch you if you try and do something to it. Get the fuck out of here, man, and leave my fruit alone. I'll show you survival of the fittest. Hi, not a zebra. They do have chlamydia, but it's not the same kind of chlamydia as the sexually transmitted type between humans. It is a different variation of chlamydia. It affects the eyes, the ears, the mouth, um, and it kills them. It does stuff to them and it affects their fertility and the reproductive things, but it's not the same kind of chlamydia that we have. The Twitch? Oh. YouTube doesn't care. Oh, Yeah. Don't tell Natter that. It's going to go to his head. Oh, yay. 17th of September. Hi, Rhonda. Yes. He's going to strike me. What? Microbats. That's the ones. It was the little, little, bitty baby bats. It's the tiny little ones that get into your ceiling. They are the ones. Yes. Oh, it just it hit me. With what? Oh, he thinks that he can't be striked. That fucking asshole. Did he say he's going to strike me? I can strike him too. I'm just minding my own business. Everyone can leave me the fuck out of oh, here. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, that's because they're all muscle. Look at my cleavage. It looks like a vag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They just want to <laughs> climb a tree and be left yeah, alone. We did, we did mushrooms one day. I know. It's like origami. She has origami boobs. It folds in on herself. And, I mean, as you get older, you do get foldy cleavage, but... Hers, hers is like that because of the bra that she's wearing. Like it's too, it's either ridiculously big or it's too small, and it's forcing the boobs to be squished together. It's probably because she's wearing a sports bra. It fold, folds in on itself. There's just, got, it's nowhere for it to go. I don't even want to talk. I don't want to reminisce. Flying about foxes any are a bit different to the micro oh. things. Never mind. No, it's the little tiny <laughs> mini back. <laughs> My boobs are out of whack. Hi Jennifer. Hello. I can't believe he was in your house. Pretty much oh, I am adorable and really informative. Oh, amazing. thanks so much. Remember the first few videos? No. <laughs> the first video was like, oh, again. And I, you guys, I don't remember if you hated I think you hated him from the beginning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, Lilith. That just it, it just hit me a little sideways. Her cleavage looks more like a snatch. You are correct, Lilith. It does look like a snatch. A like waxed snatch. Easy, She's got a Brazilian easy. snatch. Like, even if I you talk about you, pal. Right. Whiplash. 
I'm going to show you a little something. You want to get freaked out? You want to get freaked out? I'm going to show you something. I think I showed, and I think, was it me? Oh, I don't know if it was with Skinny Queen or if it was with Enola. Um, here we go. Now, this, this statistic is going to freak you out, but there are human-sized bats on almost every single um, continent in the world, okay? And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Okay. There's that one. Oh, there's a better one. There is a better one. Where is it? Um, I like the one that gives you the comparative by size with the person. Th oh, there we go. Human-sized bat. Yep, human-sized bat. How do you feel about knowing that exists? They're not, they're not meat eaters. They eat the fruits. They eat the veggies. But there are human-sized bats on almost every landmass, except for the cold places, in the world, including Australia. Philippines, they got them. Australia's got them. I've never seen them. I don't know where they live, but apparently we have them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Yes, we do. Yep. Human-sized bat. Yep. I don't know. Canada might have them. I don't know. But I read the stat that they're most places in the world have got them. You want a fluffy dragon? What about a beard dragon? We've got those. It's obvious what he's like. I think I would freak out and shit my pants too with Lash. Yes, I know, Lockdown. Uh, that was my initial. I thought it was fake. I thought it was fake. I thought it was a G up for absolute sure. So I had to go research it because Google tells you everything. And then I was reading about it. And I'm like, oh, my God, these things are real. They're really real. But they're not mean and they're not nasty. Thank God. Or it will be like Planet of the Bats instead of the Planet of the Apes. They'd take over. And, yes, they have those big hooky feet. <laughs> I hate it because of him. Are you on drugs? Yeah. The ones that make the back are massive. I'll be a fucking billionaire. Maybe that's so them, Dohiki. I'm going to order a whole fucking factory in my house <laughs> because they don't make enough of the mini bites with the fucking uh, the cheese raviolis. I don't like the, oh, the beef raviolis. Tinned more pasta. I don't get it. Tell me to do groceries because I'm ordering out too much, so I did. Jessica, just go straight to <laughs> denial. Ow, Denied. Ow, ow. <laughs> oh no no you know what the cutest thing about skunks when they do the stomping how they stomp their front feet to like intimidate other skunks and to intimidate predators and stuff they do the stomping it's so it's like oh little peppy little pew if i had a skunk i would call it peppy like le pew le, le pew Pepe, love you. What was the cat's name? Did the cat get a name? Or was it just cat? Does anybody know what the cat's name was in that? Let's <laughs> get drunk off the Google it. Line. See if Canada's got them. I don't know if I want to. Okay, so this guy. I um a non-flying parrot? Yeah. Like, what is with New Zealand and your birds that don't fly? Are they just not motivated enough? What makes them not, They just, you know what it is? It's because New Zealand's so pretty, there's no need to leave. they got nowhere to go but to stay on the ground. Maybe there weren't any predators to scoop them up. But then you had the, maybe New Zealand doesn't have any major predators other than like feral cats and dogs and stuff. Because that's the only reason why I could think a bird would stop wanting to fly, the fact that they wouldn't need to escape a predator. It's like, it's cool, bro. You don't even need to worry about that. She's here. You can just walk around, cop a squat. Nothing's going to get you around here. Just get, fuck wings. Fuck wings are useless. I'm walking. I managed to put it off till tomorrow. Who can we gossip about? I'm tired of talking about Birds, myself. are you scared of birds? Is there anyone you want to gossip about? Yeah, I don't, like I don't like it when they hiss, though. I don't like that. And when they do that wriggly thing when they're mad, I don't like that. That's funny. 
Oh, it's Penelope. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Penny and Pepe. What happened with MSW? Oh, we can go to Casbah. What's the gossip on people? Cheddar broccoli soup. I was going to buy some. Oh, yes. A Sasquatch. What kind of mental illness is it when you just sit here and stare at stuff? Um, that's probably drug-induced psychosis. I don't know. Um, we have a version of Sasquatch and Bigfoot. Ours are called Yowies. Similar theme, overly tall, kind of skinny, built a bit like Sala, very hairy, eats people, likes to walk around with heads, usually hang around billabongs, which are like ponds or bodies of water. We have Yowies. Yep. For like hours. Yes, that's right. That's probably why they stopped flying. Tomorrow. There's no tea. Oh my god, I I don't doubt it. Everyone's fucking boring. I don't. A couple of things. If you are going to India or even like um, say Indonesia and stuff, and they've got the monkey troops that roam around, don't wear anything where your clothes are held on by tie ups because I'll undo them. Don't wear sunglasses. Don't wear jewelry, and don't like have food around like where you know the monkeys are going to be because you're going to be fucked those things are aggressive as all hell so the drama is that amber van broke her cankle or whatever <laughs> who fucking cares what else is there going on oh moose are are frightening really cute mm -hmm. but scary because they're so big well, i want to date a man who has their own fucking place number one that would be nice for a change i don't have to worry about like hotels and no cleaning don't even dare offer them a VB or a northern, a great northern. No, nah. has a room. The is, castle is, is someone staying with him, so he doesn't want me over. Flying squirrels, yeah. They're like our shoe gliders. I wonder what car safety rating she got when she fell in her. Yeah, they are. <laughs> this is. I don't know, Sherry. Some freaking racist person. Oh wow! People are like that desperate for some. Do you say is it similarly pronounced um like Yowie for us? Yeah, is that for you guys? Because ours is Y O W I E, and we even made a little chocolate candy. You used to be able to buy chocolate Yowies, and they were kind of like Kinder Surprise. They had a little plastic ball thing inside them, and they had little prizes in it. You would buy the little Yowie, and that was yeah, that was our like oh let's eat this. Bigfoot Sasquatch little toy thing. I'll I'll pull it up. I'll show you. Yowies. Yowie. Yowie chocolate. Look, see. See. You can get it at where Kmart. <laughs> That's the and you'd get like a little toy on the inside. See, and you collect them. But that's not what a real yaoi looks like. Your real yaoi is basically like a sas Sasquatch. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got rid of it. I accidentally clicked off it instead of clicking on it. But that's okay. But that's okay. There we go. Fixed it. Oh no, coming for your crown. What crown? I never had a crown. Like, what am I the queen of? Like, queen of shit? Queen of law cow? Queen of fucking. Yetis. Yep. But I don't know. Can I be replaced? Oh, God. Do you think so? Can you imagine? Can you picture not? Oh, my God, Miriam. I have a hair pulling monkey story as well. There is a place up near Mackay called Cape Hillsborough, and they had like a zoo there or an animal petting place and they had monkeys i think they were i think they were chimpanzees they were like grabby monkeys and i think i've got my mum's got a photo of this somewhere not of them grabbing my hair but of me like with my hand on the cage looking cute and i was about nine or ten years old and i had my hand on the cage like this and I was, mum was taking the photo and then i must have turned my head like that and the next minute monkey hand comes out and grabs my hair and pulls it back and i'm like yeah and I don't know. I managed to get away from it. But, yeah, it pulled my hair hard. Like, what did I do to you? I didn't do anything. Me just completely disappearing and never hearing about me ever It again. is a short Bigfoot. It's hey, still tall, like but they're Beezer. shorter than a Bigfoot. Yeah, I'm the Queen Beezer. I am. Let's get drunk off cooking wine. I'm an Almasty. Oh, wow. And prank calls people. Walk around with heads. <laughs> yeah, they do. That's a picture no, I saw. I just mean, like, look. Yeah. 
Well, you think about it. You think about it, okay? Oh, my tail won't. Okay, so we're saying they're basically the same creature but just different species. When you think about humans, we are all different, right? Um, so we've got Asians. They are physically developed for the areas of the world that they've lived in. We've got um, um, the dark-skinned peoples of Africa, the tribesmen. We've got a mix of, the, like, the we've got the light skins, the Europeans. We have all got physical developments to cope with the environment that we live in. So why wouldn't Sasquatch, Yowies, Bigfoots, um, all of them be similar? They would have physical um, attributes that would make where they live suitable. And I'm talking like they're real. They could be, they may not be, I don't know. But why would they would all have, you know, adaptations for where they're living, different environments, cold, hot, short, big, tall, whatever, tree, upper tree, not upper tree, big feet, small feet. Little teeth, big teeth, whatever. Really racist, though. Like, you, like, <laughs> the shit she said was bad. That was fucking bad. I was cringing when I heard that. I don't know. Do they? Maybe they do. Let me let me look that up. I, I think that's a challenge now. You, you're challenging me. India. India. Oh, can't even type. India Bigfoot. No, just Indian Bigfoot motorcycle. No, that's not that's not what I wanted. We'll save that for another day. That's quite a topic. We can we can explore that another time. I think that's very interesting. We can we're gonna do we're gonna explore the myths and the legends of Bigfoot on one of our streams. Right. Let me write it down because that's oh, very interesting. Are so bored with themselves. YouTube is a place for multiple creatures. Are we getting? Also, <laughs> does anyone have any advice on how to pass the test? Get a homeless person. I don't know. I can't find the okay. answer. I have to look it up. I can never Maybe they're more I sensible than others. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know him. It'd be any bow and fish stick. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. That like is interesting. Varan. He's like, yeah, it's Arabic. I was like, uh huh. He <laughs> goes, <laughs> oh, is it? We're not going to explore it too hard. We're just going to touch the surface. I don't like a fucking douchebag when I do that. I know. <laughs> it goes it's from right. zero to fucking hundred. It, it's probably because it's it, it, our worlds are colliding. I can't pose her. I swear to God. I'm rolled. No, he does that. Green man or what? Wow. Right when he puts his thing inside, you know what? He goes, oh. <laughs> and right Hello, fresh. The cheese went bad. Oh no! <laughs> oh, she's so weird. And the red-headed giants. Oh yes. <laughs> this is where she's starting to get super, super, super high, guys. Like mental high. <laughs> yes, I know. We're talking yowies and possums. Green no, children. This is all new to me. <laughs> this is like hyperventilating down there. Yeah. 
Gi- Iraq's got giants? I didn't even know that Iraq had giants. Yeah, I'm gonna eat whatever. I guess as soon as you can breathe again. Do you want some corn? Do you want some corn and hot dog or just corn? Um. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a heart attack and pass out. Jesus. It's marshmallow. I prefer just regular marshmallows. I've never had flour. I don't know if I'd like it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> oh, yep, yeah, she's so pretty. I feel like if you don't have your life figured out by like 40, it's a fucking medical issue. And they should just label you as a failure to thrive. <laughs> You'd like to know more about passive income, right? You spent 500 oh. on groceries. Oh my God. Yeah, but how much is that going to feed? Oh, is it? Jamaica, I don't know. So oh, so it is. I'll find out soon enough. Hi, Tata. I think so too. I hope so, but we'll see. <laughs> Quick question. So, version. What's more, what, what, would, what one would you believe in more? What sounds more likely, Giants or Bigfoot? Giants. I think it probably maybe it was a village full of people that were just like all seven footers and people just exaggerated the stories. And Bigfoot is probably an extinct evolution of people that just died off. They got the pox and they all died or something, you know. They all just passed away and they couldn't mate and yada, yada, something like that. I think maybe I think I think Bigfoot's probably more likely but I could understand where the origin of giants probably came from. What was I going to make? I'm not really hungry right now. I feel like I have things to get off my chest. Mm. Wow. Have you had, fl- I'm assuming you've had fluff then, Jennifer. Dating sucks. I don't think I'm dating. It's more like, I guess, meeting up with dudes. I just, sometimes I just look at her and think, wow. Is alien related? Like I don't take any. Of like that Matthew, what's that guy's name? Matthew, Matthew Riley book, the contest. That's that that makes sense. That makes sense. If you've read, has anybody read that book, the contest by Matthew Riley? It's really really good, and that would that would fit. But that's science fiction, so that's not real. Mm hmm. I think it's just a family of really tall people that just got hyped up. <laughs> Mud blood. Oh, that scares me. Imagine I went, yeah. Oh, you haven't? God, she just makes up some dumb stuff, doesn't she? Just make up stupid things. Oh, baby (laughs) Jay. I'm sorry, but as a pet owner, looking at this poor baby's fur, that is not fur that gets brushed. Or is clean. Like that baby's not even able to clean herself properly. Cat fur on long haired cats does not clump like that when they are um, brushed or cleaning themselves properly. They just, that just doesn't, that is an untouched cat. There's a ghost there. <laughs> oh, are you tired, Antonis? Oh. Well, at least you're finished now. You can party. <laughs> Look, Foodie's having a great time. Look at her. She's laughing it up. Yuck, yuck, yucking Pretty it up. Beauty body shames. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. That was wrong. I admit. I'm sorry. That was very important. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. I'm just laughing at something else I just thought of. Then tell the class, yeah, Foodie. Don't keep it to like, yourself. Kept doing my noises. Mm. I remember feeling so bad that I freaking had sex with Renee in Cuba. And because I because of how mad are we acting? And then in finding out and that he was screwing everything that moved, I'm so mortified. Corn. Oh god. Oh that corn does look good though. Not gonna lie. Is he just gonna go upstairs and eat six things of corn? She's not a bitch. That's weird. Everyone knows that. It's the telegram I took it this morning, September. Mm-hmm. This swampy ape, I like that. 
a demon. But that's a very Floridian thing, though, isn't it? Gentle crone, like you know, the Yeti's probably got like a name, like it probably means like tall, hairy hunter or something like that. Yeah, we probably indigenous or first peoples for, um, I don't know, hairy dude. Um, but Florida's just like swamp guy, <laughs> like, you know, just make it nice and easy. Swamp dude. Yep. Swamp guy. What kind of accent? Like what, what accent would, like if he came out and he's like, hi, my name's Jared. I am finally going to come out i'm coming out as a sasquatch i am a representative of the sasquatch community we would like to start integrating back in um into the more modern society um but what kind of what accent would he have would he be french would he have a new orleans accent would he be southern would he come from the midwest what accent or dialect do you think sasquatch would have for the americans what region would it be regional or would he just would they have their own kind of accent i don't know i imagine that he would have like a midwestern he'd like you know from like dakota or something like that that's the accent that we need to have he'd have that real thick like dakota my name's jared from dakota it's very cold this time of year yeah 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 okay bud yep it all I, it was me i i've been eating your chickens i ate the chickens yeah bud that was me you know, like I imagine it would be like a Midwestern accent. That was a terrible Midwest. I know. But you get the idea, right? Very far go. Place has green pee in the air. Does not have any ghost stories. He experiences them a couple of nights a week, going. actually. He gets visited by some evil spirit in his sleep. Ooh, the first ten movie. minutes of his sleep. But last two or Maybe three Maybe he cornered No, like, don't. We're not going there, Lock Dog. You've the now, after watching the kink game, I have... I literally could think there. I'm. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not thinking about what Pete's is doing with six corn cobs. I'm not thinking about it. Screamed at in his ear. He gets uh, bitten on his feet. Oh, there was. There's genital area. Genital areas. So I know. Somebody... Ew, we're our own worst enemies. We're supposed to be friends here, guys. No, no. no. Yes, really. It's been happening. More men like animals. There you go. I was not even close. No, I tried that male out because I knew I wasn't. Bending. Swamp eight is real. Okay. I'm so fucking sad. All right, I'm gonna have to Google swamp eight. This stuff is so good. So why don't I eat it straight from the jar with the chocolate bar? That's the perfect way to have it. Is. That thing that you guys are like, oh, it's a fucking. <clears throat> it's an alcohol distiller. I don't know if it does that, but now she's changed voices. Maybe it is. She's gone from talking like this, and when he put it in me, he goes, <clears throat> and now we're talking in our little baby voice because we're small, small, and tall, small and dainty, and I'm I want to sound vulnerable. Why? Why are we doing that? Just talk over my boobs. Uh, you know what it is? She's embarrassed and shamefaced for eating um, the fluff out of the container with a chocolate bar. So she's like, you can't be mad at me for doing this because I know I'm diabetic and it's really, really gross, but you can't be mad because I'm using cute boys. She doesn't like sweets, but she's eating fluff on a chocolate bar. She doesn't like sweets. She doesn't have a sweet tooth. That was just never. He said he was not a big drinker. He wasn't. Barbaroni, barbaroni. I have a lot of children. Bye, Dohinky, na na. I just don't want it. Oh, yeah, see, adaptations. Oh, my God. What's me? Well, somebody said the public. Oh, she was so ridiculously high, right? Anyway, Are you guys the type of people to eat the good stuff? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Are you allowed to have your eggs with cream in it, natural ginger? Can you do that? Can you have eggs with cream? Or is that fat? That should be allowed in your carnivore diet, right? Someone makes more money than me. 
Yeah, but didn't she? Didn't she? She doesn't have any other platforms because she's oh no, Twitch. She'd have Twitch. She's got Twitch. See, this is what makes I'm I'm the same as you. She's either timed out from YouTube, but then she'd probably pop up on Twitch. She's deleted her TikTok, which I don't understand. Well, she never was really on it anyway. Um, she's either timed out from YouTube, but then she'd go to Twitch. But if she's traveling, this is usually the time. Like she's usually gone like this when she's traveling. I think they've gone for an overnighter in, to Saudi Arabia. Why do I think that? Camping is hell, hella cheap. They can drive to Saudi Arabia, cross the border, and come back within a day. It's the cheapest option. Everything else is a plane ride, a hotel, too much money. They can pack their own lunch. They can take their own foods. That it would be the cheapest option to do an overnighter in Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> Just bacon fat. Oh, okay, that would be delicious though. A Jamaican accent. They're very Oh, I'm not even going to attempt a Jamaican. I'm not going to do Padua because I'll just sound Irish. But why? Why do you think it's Jamaican? So why would I say for this stuff? I mean... Does that make sense to you? I think there's a, re a legit reason because, well, Thala can't stop her. If she wants to come online and she wants to post bullcrap online, it's not like he can pull her up and stop her. There has to be a reason, a reason why she's not posting, why she's not vlogging, why she's not doing anything. Her last live got yeeted, so she's not getting income from that. She hasn't posted anything in a couple of days so they're not making any money sala doesn't work clearly there has to be it has to be it has to be a border run that's the only thing that would be more important than her posting videos would be making sure she's renewing that visa without the without that she has to go back to canada so they have to do it and it's getting really really close to the cutoff point and it would make sense to do it on her birthday because then they could just say, oh, we were birthday bees and he took me away for the weekend. We just took a little getaway for the weekend. You know, we went camping with friends. We were just hanging out for my birthday. Wouldn't it be the best cover story ever? Oh, we were just doing something for my birthday. We didn't board a jump. I don't have to anymore. I have permanent residency or residency or whatever the lie is that she's trying to sell, allegedly. This is a legitimate cover story we know she's lying but it it's it's um it's within the realm of believable if somebody else was telling us that we would believe it but because it's foodie we know that's what's happening she's 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 got to cross a border somewhere is she still in bed no nicola no no purchase of lachine condo are they seriously moving well, when you're poor and you're broke, you've got to do what's cheap, right? I don't know. They have to find the cheapest, grossest hotel room that they can afford. I would never move there. So boring. Uh huh. What? Yeah, she's always laying. She's always laying the foundation for a lie. So that always, so it seems to make sense. She's always dropping these little nuggets. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it every other day. She knows that it's going to look a certain way. She's very aware of optics and what it looks like. So that's why she lays the foundation for lies. Exactly. It's fluff. Oh, that just makes me feel sick looking at that. Oh, this is where it starts to get gross, guys. I'm a diabetic. She's so high. Oh, yeah, you are, hun. Look at look at you. If not, you are going to be soon. She doesn't care about the fluff on her face. She just leaves it there. It's like, are you sure you can't feel it? No, nah, it's for feeders. This is feeder stuff. And she's so high at this point. You? Why do I seem numb? Smaller dose of edible. I know. Well, sometimes it just hits me different. What do I, want to eat? I know, Kristen. The one thing she loved about Salah the most is that he wanted to be in videos. He wanted to do couples content, and that's been taken away. And who took it away? 
he did. She blames Kybella, but it was all Salah for being a dirty, dirty, dirty dog, for being a pig who can't keep his bits out of other ladies' bits. He made that mistake. And if she could have him back on camera without all the backlash, she absolutely would. Absolutely would. But that was one of the biggest perks that she was getting is with the couple content. People can't. I want to go lay down, but should I have a sub? Oh, oh. We're going to cook tomorrow. Are we eating so salad gonna... dressing? What are we eating? This? What, what are we doing? Oh, here. <laughs> I'm eating what my peeling. We... Yep. No, I'm just really burnt. So I have the munchies. Mm. What are we eating? Oh, Thousand Island with well, cheese. Is that what that is? Is this what burnt? Look, I've never. I've. Look, I'm not somebody who takes recreational rugs. I've not been a big pot smoker. I've probably had it twice in my life when I was like 20 something or other. Did not this I didn't get to this point because I just greened out and needed to go to bed or I was gonna throw up. Do you literally just eat everything? Everything sounds good when you're high. Is that what this is all about? You could you would just put any combination of things together and just eat it. Is that how the munchies work? Like just as long as it's food, it's fine. She does normally. Just a few tips yeah. for time. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, no, she won't. What's wrong? Oh, What's so, oh God. What's wrong? What's wrong? But that wouldn't make her any money, so That's why would she do that, problem. Samson? That's, oh, it's not that I don't put it past her, but... It wouldn't benefit her in any way. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe like at a weird hour later. It's only eight. It is. Drink water. No? Hard no? Jennifer? Oh. All right, guys. You prefer Love sweets. You yeah. <laughs> I've 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 been very povo and I've gotten very low in groceries. You know, you're hanging out for the for the grocery shop the next day, but I've never gotten to the stage where I'm eating cheese slices with like a sauce on top. And she's got a crap ton of food there. Like, I've no, I've never gone. Yeah, I need I need some tomato sauce on a cheese slice stat, like right now, and then a Dorito on the side for texture. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow morning <laughs> or tomorrow. Hi, Lisa. I my mess earlier today. I think I'm around 10 30 or 11. Tomorrow we're making corn. Really? Pie. Oh my God. That's strawberry milk. I just hear that you just literally eat whatever Hi. and lots of it. All right. I want to live in freedom. Mm. What, what am I addicted to? I'm still addicted to my cold, my Korean cold noodles. You know, I, I'm still eating them at least three times a week. I love them. And the spicy ones, oh. And I'm not a spicy girl, and I love them. I love them. Okay, guys, we've done everything. Now I'm going to keep those other ones for another day, okay, because I've got a few days off for Easter. I'm not back until Monday, so that's your Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, so I've still got a couple of days off. Um, but tonight was fun. I had fun. I'm so glad I put all the work into putting those little clippies together. Go check out the playlist. I've got my playlist. It's um on my channel thingy. Um, I might post a com a community post. I might link it again. Actually, no, I did. I linked it on the community post. If you go back a day or two, it's got some bops on there. It's got some bangers. It's a good mix of rock, 70s, 60s. We've got Beatles. We've got the Queens. We've got K-pop. We've got some Britney Spears. We've got some oh, sugar, sugar, honey, honey. We've got a brick house. Oh, there's Who Let the Dogs Out? There's a whole good, if you want a good cleaning soundtrack, that'll keep you running for a couple of hours. Or if you want something to listen to while you're at work, listen to the playlist. It, it doesn't earn me, it's not monetized or anything. It's simply there for listening pleasure. And it is foodie, beauty inspired, created by you guys. I just coordinated the suggestions and put them onto one playlist. That's all I did. So it is your playlist, okay? Um, but for foodie's birthday so to, when you're kicking it later on the dance floor on the dance floor because that's what you do at the after party after a big 40 birthday bash play that soundtrack
get your groove on, go for a run, go for a jog, go for a treadmill, dance like you're crazy in your kitchen. But listen to the playlist because it's good music. Very good suggestion. Okay, everyone, hit the like on the way out. If you are new and you have not subscribed, consider it. I'm not your mother. I'm not going to make you do anything you don't want to. Um, thank you to all the new people that came and enjoyed in the chat. Had lots of fun. I enjoyed talking to you. And you've given me some ideas for other streams, you know, background conversation. While we watch Foodie, she's a background, and then we get into the serious stuff like are giants real, opossums versus Australian possums. These are all fantastic topics and I love it all right guys well thank you for joining me I had a good time at the party I'm a bit worn out now I might have to go and have a snack or something I might have to go find some Doritos or some flavored popcorn or something to eat but I had fun and thank you all right guys thank you so much everybody we'll do a quick rundown before we go okay because you know that's how we do we have Jennifer Joanna Miriam Natural Samson Overfear Mega Omega 222 Whiplash Luck Dog, uh, Kristen, Lucy Jane, Not a Zebra, Whiplash, um, Panda Pondu was here, Joe Hickey was here, Jade was here, um, Sea Life was here, um, Thunder Rain was here, I'm just trying to think of all the names, Med Bernard was here, um, Capone Boxer was here, um, Oceana Song, Samson Yak, Lisa was here, Gentle Crone. I think I've, oh, I, Joanna was here. Not a zebra. Nic Nicola was here. Deb Fouch, hello, Deb, hello. Hi. I wanted, if Deb's still here or if Deb watches this on the replay, how's your package tracking? Because I'd love to know. Okay, all right, That's. I think that's everything. If I go back too far, it's too many. But thanks, guys. I'm going to wrap it up, go get something to eat, I'm going to put myself to bed, and I'm, I'm going to wash my face before I go to bed. I'm not waking up this smid left to right. All right, bye.